I don't know. We were going to go with something more impressive. Less Ministry of Lovey. Yeah. I, I actually heard, what was it one of the suggestions was what? Yama, Yamato. Well, that's because it looked a bit like the Yamato. That was, I think that was me that pointed out the similarity of appearance. Yeah, yeah. And then what's the other, uh, what's the other spaceship? The other spaceship. The, the, the Yamato is not a spaceship, if I remember rightly. Well, it is. <laughs> it is. And then it isn't. If Matter of fact, I, mean. I knew I knew of the Yamato uh, spaceship long before I knew of the real one. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, if well, it makes you feel it, but in World of Warships, they did at one point make a map for I can't remember what it was. It was for April Fools or something, where the entire thing was in space. And all of the ships fired lasers instead of their normal guns. <laughs> and you were just flying around with ships in space. <laughs> it was pretty good fun. Hello, Chad. How's it going? That was actually before my time in World of Warships. Unfortunate, because I would have enjoyed that. I oh, did see the video great. that Jingles did on that. It was impressive. Wargaming are pretty good at doing like random fun little events like that and actually putting quite a lot of effort into it. They did a... Um, a stupid World of Tanks one. Top-down one at one point as well in World of Tanks that was pretty damn cool as well, like a Bomberman sort of approach. No, I was thinking of the one where like the, the, the tanks had lasers. Yeah, they've done one of those, yep. It was on a moon map. Well, good evening, chat. How are you all doing? I bet you weren't expecting this. Look, it's a little bit of uncooperative survival. Believe it or not. cooperative survival on YouTube. Surprise. And that's because, yeah. Cooperation. Surprise Dex, more than anything else. I actually thought he was away for the whole of this month, and apparently he's not. So, yeah. We're back here instead of on the Alien Survival with Wedgie, which is probably a good thing, because mm. the next thing that needed to happen on the Alien Survival was I needed to punish him for dropping an atmospheric thruster on my head. <laughs> you deserved that for many, many things. For many, many things, right, I see. Yeah, yes. it is. Part of me wants to... I took a blueprint of that vehicle, I'm pretty sure. Part of me wants to make it, but I don't think it worked very well on the moon. I just don't think it works thrusters. very well. What do you mean you don't think it worked very well? It worked just fine. Wait, which one are we talking about I'm again? Talking about the green ground vehicle. There was nothing wrong with the green ground vehicle, aside from the fact that someone dropped a large atmospheric thruster on the top of it and broke it in oh, half. The, uh, the, oh, well, the, the, we fixed the that nice and rover. quick. I know we did. I'm just saying, that's the one you broke. There's nothing, wrong with, there's nothing wrong with that vehicle. So, so Scalbjorn had an interesting callback, too. I was, I was trying to think of the name of it. Captain Harlock's Arcadia. Another great sci-fi spacecraft. Yeah, wow, that's... Yeah, but out of nowhere, slightly. Well, it's in the same vein as as the yep. the spaceship Ma Yamato. I suppose, yes, yes. <laughs> Is it waste, wasted aware that the hover engine was updated just a few hours ago? I like the use of a just there. Just a few hours ago, not a few hours ago. Just a few hours ago, it's like you're being... <laughs> like it's being sold to you somehow. <laughs> The latest version released just moments ago. Be the first to own it now. Join now. Right, like so... Like you guys Columbia in Columbia Records Club. Yeah. I guess you guys never had, like, the Columbia Records Club, did you? No, not really. It's not so... That was, that was the thing where, like, oh, you could you can join now and you can get thin free records, but then later uh, we're, we're going to continue sending you records that you can either keep or send back. No, uh, you see, the whole sort of um, sending them. infomercial channel thing is not really as big over here as I understand it being in the or used to be in the US. You know, the old um, or or you get like the 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 multi CD collections of like country's greatest hits, twenty four albums of, of of country's greatest hits featuring such <laughs> artists and song greats as, and it would list through like five artists that you knew, and you knew that those would be the only tracks from any artist you knew on the entire collection. Because mm -hmm. everything else is just like, no, and uh, we everything paid Everything else was just filler. Just filler because we didn't want to pay too much for a license. There's just a guy, wench, why are you hanging in the airlock? And so there's the, ah, uh, I see. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Wedgie. <laughs> Why is Wedge just pilot. chilling in the airlock? So, uh, so yeah, we've got this thing here, which we, we apparently we haven't named. I thought we almost had named it, and then I'm not sure we did at all. Named what? The 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 big one? 
Yeah, the big end. What, what, the, what uh, a pocket battleship, whatever it's going to end this, up being is called. Is this a pocket? Is this the pocket battleship? I think it is. Yeah, um, it's got enough various places where we can sort of neatly hide things. My my problem is that in time I hear pocket battleship, immediately my m brain completes it to say gaff spree. <laughs> yeah, well, and you'll make another one. Uh, well, I don't know that I want to call this the gaff spree. That's what I'm saying. Your views can be different. Now, I did have a proposal, which I spoke to Tex about. I didn't talk to Wedge about, but I doubt Wedge is going to have any complaints anyway. You still there, Wedgie? I'm going to be disconnected from TeamSpeak as well. <laughs> nah, he's out of TeamSpeak too. Oh, dull. Okay, so we've, we've completely lost the Wedgehog. Well, which is that we rescued, like, bits of a large ship that are up in orbit that we were going to keep as, like, a... Freighter, I think was the idea. Mm -hmm. But I can't help but feel like more important is to get a battleship on the go than get a freighter on the go. We can always worry about that later. Let's find a way of getting loot. Which means I'm inclined to tear that thing apart, get the materials off it to stop us from having to do so much mining and grabbing of stuff. Yep. Oh, by the way, I have some really exciting news for you. I just forgot it. I hadn't mentioned it yet. You is know it that what you're they've not updated? Using your Speaking of data months. Uh, am I? Oh, okay. I'll you're not wearing a cow suit. No, that's fine. No. You stay like but, you are. I don't want cow, cow text. We're orange but, in this business. The build and repair mod? Mm -hmm. I can use it now. <gasps> Run. In your server. Run. I can change all the options. Deadly. It'll screw everything up. I can e I can even see it using, uh, like, the little nanobots go streaming out somewhere. Oh, you, oh, could you not see that before? No, no, I couldn't see it. I couldn't hear it. I've I only ever played as anything. the host for this. I do feel like our sim speed has gone to... They're so lying with the sim speed these days. It's like, this is not 1.0. I, I know no, what 1.0 feels like, and this is not it. it. It's not that much below, but it's not 1.0. Don't pretend. So, I reckon... Well, I mean, I don't know how much more actual block placement you need on this, or whether it's just taking it apart. Um, well, I mean, there there are some other things that I kind of were thinking about doing, but we don't have to do right now, which would be like a rear gun deck. So we maybe one more turret on the backside. But I think we need to get it flying first. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Right, I do need some ammo. It was 88 mil, wasn't it? We we're using for our for standard the, guns. For Boris. Yeah, Boris is. That's one of the reasons why he was struggling last episode with combat was the fact that he'd run out of ammo in his main weapons. Looks like we do not have... What are we missing to actually make these? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing everything, are we? All right, Wedgie. He's, Sorry he's about back. that. It, it uh, decided to hard eventually. crash. It decided to hard crash on me. For some oh, actually, I heard it was just Tuesday. It looks like we're just missing uranium, actually. Oh, well. So we could totally uh, go a little bob mining. Bottom armament is missing at the moment, but I have a feeling Tex plans some bottom armament is just not on there at the moment because it's so close to the ground. Yeah, I hadn't really decided. I mean, mostly this ship is designed around being able to carry these big-ass turrets. Mm-hmm. And, and carry two parasite fighters in some, some sort of yeah. small cargo bays. Beyond that, it, I mean, once we get all that, some tweaking can happen, but... Have we decided what the parasite fighters are going to look like? Nope. No, I was hoping that no. you and Wasted were going to build parasite fighters for this thing. I well, guess we could do I that. I was going to help out initially on the mindset of trying to help you get that thing actually flying to begin with. Mm, uh, yes. And then I could worry about helping with a parasite fighter. Well, I think so. We were talking, Wedge, about possibly uh, repurposing all the components that are in that freighter upstairs into finishing this thing off. Okay. Because it's 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 lacking a whole bunch of stuff, like 960 thruster components in this one. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's All what right, I'm well thinking that, is the thruster components the, uh... is, is what we can really grab from that thing up there because it's got loads on it. I just want to make sure that if, when we go up, we've got some armament as well. So if I whack that in there, that should do the job of making sure. Aha. Do we need uranium? Are we out have, of uranium? I have... have I, no, no, that's no, fine. Stopped her up a bit. I have her shells. Her? Uh, what? I kind of want more her shells. H-E. Oh. The 88 mils. 
Whatever happened to the shock rod? Um, the shock rod hasn't been built in this. That's from Escape from Mars. I mean, there's nothing yeah. to say against building a shock rod here, but it would need to be the hydrogen converted one, not the one that's got atmospheric thrusters. But yeah, I mean, other than all of the thrusters, this thing is totally well, someone made pretty one. Much. Shock rod? Someone made a shock rod that was... Um... No, the shock rod is the one that's got the blooming wings on it. Someone made a version of the shock rod on the workshop that is... Let's have a look. Let's go and, let's go and have a quick peek, because there's one up here that's got hydrogen thrusters. So I've got one uh, one idea that I can make a minor change here. Uh, mm -hmm. How how do you feel about putting a landing pad on the back behind the flying bridge, so that we can land a Boris or whatever? So something that won't necessarily fit in that bay. Yeah, we have to be careful to make something fit at all, aren't we? Because it's not massive. Actually, it's big enough for a decent-sized fighter in there. Yeah, the only concern yeah. is making sure that we build a proper splitting mechanism onto it so it can separate. It has to be exactly the right length for this, this thing to work, but as long as it is, it'll be great. So, Wedgie, I would, if you're going to build anything for this, I would take some measurements before you do so to make sure yeah. that you're building it right length and width. I was going to say, it, it probably is pretty diddy, so... It's not too bad. You know, you're not going to be massively limited if you think of it as a parasite fighter rather than anything else, something we're building on the fly, and if it dies, it dies. Mm. Um, but, yeah. Still want to be careful and make sure it fits. All right, well, let's have a look at uh, dimensions. Parasite drones? No, drones are a pain in the ass. That's the only reason we wouldn't do drones is because in reality drones are just harder to control than something you can pilot. I mean, we could do drones, I suppose, on the basis that it, we'd be a bit more secure by doing so. Kinda. That, and they have upped the uh, the range on small ship antennas recently, haven't they? Did they? I think so. Okay. That is a decent chunk of man over Boris. Oh, yeah. Go on, Boris boy. Get yourself loaded up. Right. Do the batteries not automatically feed the ammo through? That's a bit silly. Surely they should be pulling that ammo automatically. Oop! Uh, may have made a hole. Where do we make a hole? Uh, no, I accidentally shot Boris's guns. <laughs> like the ground in front of it. I didn't break any of it so far, so that's a good start. Yeah, I'm going to have to go manually load all of Boris's guns or put Tim on here. I guess, do we have a Tim on it already? Uh, on the... Time of block Tim, yeah, we do. All right, mm. cool, that means that I can... Oh, on Boris. Yeah. If I can figure out what the... Uh, code is going to be to put that ammo in there. Like, whatever it's called. Eww. The laser antennas have insane ranges, but they need really specific conditions to work. We are working slowly on a laser antenna network, but it does work a lot better if the laser's antennas don't move. Right. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I don't know what I... Is that going to be enough? Probably not, but... Oh, actually, that's going to go at the start as well, isn't it? The Boris battery. Let me put you there. Hmm. I had a pocket battleship once. I accidentally smashed it when I sat down there. That's bad. That's yeah, really that bad. is bad. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
If I had an atmospheric thruster. Well, if you kept, if you wouldn't throw them at people all the time, you'd be able to keep one around. Right. I think I've gotten the uh, the rough dimensions for a parasite, so we'll see what no we can do. No comment. <laughs> safely there. Guess we can find out. There's a question. Um, what did we do about disposing of stone? Because there, there was a mod that you can get that will eat it for air, I believe. Just use a... Um... Use a uh... no place to small mark one small battery mag containers may be empty. Okay, so that should be the name I'm looking for. Uh, use a connect uh, conveyor sorter. Oh, well, yeah, that's how you source it, but you can't delete you can it. Make it yeah, you can because you make your you can put a connector on it that's specifically set to auto eject. Isn't that? Oh, but he's gone all robot again. He has. I suspect this is bad news. <laughs> now, does that... Why is that panel now offline? Wait, what? Did I turn the ship off? I did turn the ship off. Fail. No. Tim is trying to find a cargo container to put it into, and he can't, because there isn't one. So has that actually put a magazine in that correct one? I don't think it has. There's nine in one of the batteries, and that is it. Well, this doesn't bode well for today. <laughs> Mr. Wedgehog has left us. Although that is the wrong way of writing that, which doesn't help. Yeah, it does look like I'm basically going to have to manually load these blooming batteries, which is really annoying, but hey. I know they're Mark 1 batteries, that was the one I was using. I might have to sit this one out given I am um, hard crashing all the time. Earth could be causing uh, you to hard crash. I have no idea. So oh. The game is hard crashing or your computer is hard crashing? The game is causing the computer to. Blue screen of death? It doesn't even blue screen of death, it just hangs up. The audio starts jittering and then the only way to solve it is to kill it and fire it up again. Try it's rebooting. Earth. Well, yeah, that's no. what I have done. On oh, okay. Stations. I didn't know if you were just restarting the program or rebooting. How on earth could I put pull <laughs> these in through the cockpit, but then not be able to put them back in using the cockpit? That doesn't make any fucking sense. God knows. Yeah, um, I'll try and sort this one out for next week, but I think I'm out of commission, I'm afraid. No worries, that's, buddy. That's my comeuppance for, for fucking around, so... <laughs> Just, you know, try not make that much of a mess without me. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back oh. soon, hopefully. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Godspeed, Wedge Glenn. No, they are Mark 1 batteries. That is the name of this weapon. New sponsor? Sir Dooser. Thank you very much, man. No, they, these weapons are literally called Mark 1 batteries. There they are. The clicking noise is um, Tim. Uh, sorry, is Bob trying to make stuff. That could be it, actually, Chris. 
Yeah, it's Bob on this clicking because he, he can't build whatever it is he's trying to build. So it might be that we've got these locked mediums. Certainly this doesn't seem to work. Okay, so it's now letting me move it around, but I still, I'm still going to have to like manually spread it out, which is a little bit stupid. But hey, that battery is not accessible. Neither is that one. Some of these batteries can't actually be accessed with the cargo system anymore, but I swear we loaded them to begin with. Maybe some of it's broken. There's bits of, there's bits of Boris hurt. Surely not. I was trying to pull stuff out of an assembler on Sunday and getting incredibly frustrated, and it turned out that there was like one broken conveyor in mm, the chain. Somewhere in the mix. But they would explain somewhere why Bob's going... Chain nuts about his um, situation currently when it comes to trying to repair he's trying to repair something and he's just going click 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 at the moment These two are for some reason inaccessible, so I guess they're broken. Those two are, or oh, that one's inaccessible as well. Yeah, there's some of these are, some of these just aren't. I guess somewhere in the mix there's some like cargo problems or broken parts or. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was all hooked up correctly when I started, but only pretty sure. <laughs> oh well, that's vaguely loaded. Um, so what are you set doing, Mr. Texfire? What is your mind yeah. for this? Or the pocket well, I'm, I'm, carrier? I'm thinking about heading up into space and bringing down parts. It was just whether you had stuff to do down here while I did so, or whether you were going to join me. Well, I've, I've got plenty of stuff to do down here, unless you want me to join you up there. No, it's just a quick freight but run. I've, got, I I've go got plenty to keep me busy. No worries. Tresky. No <laughs> worries. That's just what I was interested in. I wasn't sure how critical the parts we really were. Yeah, people are suggesting I check what Bob is actually trying to fix. Not a bad plan. If I can find them. Um, there we go. Mm hmm. And so even I could actually put a refinery in here. Do you think that's something we should do? It's trying to build the shield generators, so it's not that. Uh, yeah, why not? I managed to cut some conveyor lines inside of Boris, but I think the guns that aren't working are ones on the front. I think the ones with no ammo are some of the front ones, but maybe you're right. I don't know. None of the back ones actually. I mean, that should be fine. That's conveyed in. 
those should be as well because then right next to the thing that's conveying them in you can see the conveyor tubes are all lit up yellow so oh, sorry green or a color that that is a color they're on ones as well I think there's only a few that don't work, so maybe it is the ones that are underneath the... on the side of the cockpit here. Screw it! To space. Slowly. Yeah, Neuronix. That the I don't remember them making that clicking noise when they had things they could build but didn't have the parts for previously. And I have to admit that is kind of disconcerting. Video a video is a personal robot that goes to school for you. It has a screen as a camera, screen and a camera. Wish I had a robot that goes to school for me when I was growing up. That sounds fucking awesome. Yes, teacher, definitely paying attention. Definitely not playing Counter Strike on this screen here. No, sir. Yeah, I could show on how to work out which ones they are, but I'm, I'm armed for now. I need to get going with this. We need to make some progress this stream. There's an Argentavius over there that's looking sort of semi hostile. The problem is, oh, sorry, Argentavis. Uh, the Argentavis is. Uh, Really, really well armed, if I remember rightly. <laughs> Probably don't want to end up in a fight with that. Oh, hang on, unknown signal. I might go for that. Nice and close. I think currently, skin-wise, I have three. I have Rainbow Gloves, Rainbow Helmet, and Ferro Welder. And that is it. I have three skins. <laughs> All three of them, huh? Which is impressive, given that this is episode 13 of Uncooperative Survival, and we did uh, a couple of episodes of the Alien thing with Wedge, and it's like, hang on a second, how have I managed to do that much and end up with three skins in total? I don't know. I guess apparently you haven't been opening prize boxes. No, no. No, I haven't. I've been ignoring prize boxes. Because screw those things. I uh, wonder how much hydrogen fuel I've actually got. Yeah. Oh, actually quite a bit. Yep. Decent amount. Okay. Oh, I am out of... Oh, wow. It is really dark in here. <laughs> Turns out when you don't have any energy for your light and you're in a dark hole, it's really dark. Cow gloves. Oh, yeah. It's what we always wanted. God, if you just get a suit to go with it, it'll be great. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. It's lack of suit. We can all match. On the other hand, if you need a leopard helmet, I only have about 20. I thought you had enough of the blooming cow suits to, like, decorate a ship with it at this point. Pretty much. Just wrap it around the outside and be done. And, and yet people keep <laughs> offering me more. Do you want a cow suit, Tex? No, I don't. Thank you. Oh, I've lost me. Not in the now. least bit interested, to be honest. Where's it gone? Yes, space just got real mod. Very good at making things not very easy to see. <laughs> Especially no, if you combine not. it with, with dirty, keen windscreens, because I'd never clean the windscreen of my fighter cockpit. Why on Ooh, earth would you? Why would you want to do that? I mean, come on, seriously. Where am I going here? There's the moon base. Oh, North Pole is the same direction. That's why I can't see it. Okay, well, I managed to fit in a uh, re refinery, but you're going to be horrified to find out this thing is no longer symmetrical. <gasps> Screw yeah. that. I managed to... Can you believe this? I managed to get Wedge to agree 
to doing on the Alien series. The, the build on our flying ship is going to be completely unplanned. We are just going to what? slap stuff on it as we go and see really? what it ends up looking like. A proper junkyard style, it's just evolving itself. And he agreed to that. It, it, it kind of ends up looking like the Skyforge, to be honest. No, I, I don't think so because <laughs> this is this is much more of an open platform than anything else. I'm thinking sort of almost channel a little bit of your uh, Guns of Icarus sort of vibe, you know. Oh, okay. You're I'm talking about that. something that's very much just like loose ragtag of pieces flying around in the sky. I think we would. I, I referenced Waterworld a little bit as well. That same sort of idea, except air based almost. I figured that could be quite a fun. A fun one. So I think I have enough ice to potentially risk just tearing this apart with Boris. With the pink mode. And then Bob. making it back down intact. Pop, you gonna get that? You gonna get that, Bob? You're relying too hard on Bob these days. You've become I complacent. So, so is this like an intervention? Worf would not be impressed. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> This is, this is how we judge things now. Is, is, is what what would what would Worf do? <laughs> what would Worf do? Kapla. He would maybe Kapla. That's clearly the best way to go about things. I like that. I need to get uh, one of those bracelets made. Man, it is so nice to actually be able to see the options on this thing. Seeing been a problem of late. <laughs> oh, ah, see. Oh, man. Gotta bring it up, don't you? I don't think you mentioned it to anybody, so. No, no, I didn't. I wasn't gonna dwell on it. Oh, okay. okay. Take back my prompting then. Fine. <laughs> back away from conversational <laughs> subjects. It's okay, Tex. I forgive you. Well, now that you've teased it, it's kind of hard not to. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so, for those who are wondering what the heck we're blathering on about, I managed to scratch my cornea while sleeping last night, so I can't actually really see out of my left eye very well. Everything is a big blur. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's happened before. What happens when you're not awake enough to not scratch your eye when you get a little bit of sleep in it? But uh, it's annoying. He poked himself in his own eye, and he's trying to blame the fact that he was asleep, basically. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. Damn. I really intended to take the scrap metal and leave. What, what, what did I manage to do there? I don't want to put loads of scrap metal in the ship. There's no point. You go off in that direction at a speed. Yeah, Wedgie's, Wedgie's got hate this evening. Keen have decided that there's no no space engineers for Wedgie tonight. Nope. No, sir. None for you. Wow. Do I trust Bob to actually pick all this stuff up? This, this like, loading everything out of this into Boris is proving to be a slow process, just on the basis that that thing's actually pretty heavily loaded up with stuff, which why is great. Just why don't you just deorbit it? Because I don't trust it to actually make it down to the ground intact. Hmm. I don't think it's got enough thrusters on it for that. I think I think what deorbit it will be exactly that deorbit it satellite style, where the idea is it burns up on re-entry or causes the extinct of mankind. <laughs> oh well, there's only one of us down here right now, so well, at least it won't bad. be too bad. <laughs> Could be worse. Just one. No, I just, I just don't reckon this is going to make it down in one piece, basically. But it is very, very, very full of components. Hmm. Could I dock Boris to the ship? I, actually, that's not a bad plan. Why am I actually, not you can because I it's just a, uh, no, no, not I've that got one. a connector on it. The one up here. Oh. Because no. I'm, un I'm just yeah. unloading. It. I haven't even got to the point where I'm taking it apart yet. I'm just unloading its cargo.
Uh, they're all connected, aren't they? There we go. Yep, good call. Of course, I can probably load Boris up so heavily like this that she'll never come back down again. But... <laughs> We I'm shall not see. To tell you that part. <laughs> That's what makes you it exciting. To discover, you were supposed to discover that one after you were already making re-entry. No, I don't. You see, I'm not like that, Tex. I don't need to discover it later because I can discover it now and also just still not care. And just do it anyway. <laughs> just be like, yeah, okay. it's probably Fair still going to be slow, but so what? Let's give it a try. See what happens. <laughs> Much better that way around. Wow, is that medium cargo container already full? Holy shit. <laughs> what even is this? Let's not bring down all of these gravity generator components. That's the problem. Don't actually think we need gravity generator components on the moon, thanks. And they weigh quite a bit, and there is a lot of gravity generator components in here. Of course, because that thing had a grav drive, didn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, those will break down. Just they will, really yeah, nice but... Stuff. What weighs less, I wonder? Breaking it down in orbit or bringing it down as, as an intact part and then breaking it down when you get back? Hmm. Same question. Chat. Hit me up. <laughs> Someone, someone's got to know the answer to this one. There's got to, there's got to be a definitive answer, like stuff weighs less in X and X format. It's like I was playing Life is Futile today. Of course you were. Well, of course. You fancy digging a hole in the, in the rain, and so... Yeah. On your day off. <laughs> on my day off, yes. So, uh, anyway, um, so I was playing it, and, and I was um, harvesting... I was basically slaughtering some, some chickens... <laughs> and realized that as I was slaughtering the chickens, my inventory was going up because the components that I was getting from it were weighing more than the actual chicken did. Because, you oh, know. Oh, that's, there's, there's some interesting. Because, you know, game logic. <laughs> some Ferengi logic <laughs> is what it is. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Uh, math is the answer, apparently. Good good to know. Maths? Individual components weigh less, depending on your inventory size multiplier. So there's some information there, but without the information to actually answer the question. Okay, so in which gotcha. way does the Perfect. inventory size multiplier affect it? <laughs> uh, I just saw something pop in. 13 kilometers? Uh, Did that pop in by you? Vertus Assault Corvette. 15k mm -hmm. from me. How's that the old battleship coming? Suitably nasty. No, you won't. We won't uh, well, know yet. I need to do a few more. Um, I need, need to do a few more trips like this. And this isn't even one with thruster components. It, it does have motors and so on, but yeah. Coming in, coming her down slow. Wings are oxygen based, aren't they? They're not gravity based. Uh, they are, yes, they are Atmo based. And now I want chicken, thanks, Tex. Well, because Tex was talking about <laughs> slaughtering some chicken in Life is Feudal. That oh, is an interesting well. reasoning right there. Mmm, <laughs> slaughtering chicken. Mmm. Mmm, 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 giblets. <laughs> okay. Sure-ish. Everyone likes a few biscuits and giblets, to be fair. Well, I said that. I'm British, I so, might, so we, we do things myself, like that. I might get myself ostracized for this, but I do not like chicken and dumplings. And as far as some people are concerned, that is an actual mortal sin. Canardo, bro, thank you very much for the donation, dude. Thank you for the support. Well, work is way too busy to watch the stream live, but welcome back, Tex. Good luck with the cornea and... A cornea? 
cornea. That sounds more like a ice cream. And may Bob consume all things. Well, thank you, man. I think he will. Bob, Bob, if nothing else, is known for having quite a voracious appetite. Boris is actually looking all right here, even just on the ions. I might have finally put enough thrusters on Boris that it's capable of, of flying. Congratulations. I'm even doing it with the dampers off. We've come to a very good place. We have, apparently. Um, my, my underneath rocket turret just fancied shooting at a corpse over there for a second. I do remember that corpse being there, so I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit less remembering that there was actually something in that spot. It's almost easier to fly with dampers off. You've almost got, you know, I, I, I don't like the jerkiness of constantly having to, like, counteract what the dampers are trying to do, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. Okay, like I said, um, it also kind of feeds my, my Kerbal Space Program love. Yeah, well, there's always a bit of fun with behind the old flying with your, your dampers off, you know. The actual orbital mechanics yeah, approach. Yeah. Well, not yeah. really, because it's space engineers, but an approximation of that at least is a bit more fun than just the, the weird constant damped movement. It's also it's a slightly romantic attraction I feel as well because it's the same as like sort of doing starters and with like some of the uh, the damping in that turned off you know it's like there's a romantic attra att attraction to doing it and some of the things you could potentially do if you sort of unlocked your ship at the same time in my experience very few people actually gain any real benefit from doing it it's like it's fun but but chances are you probably drive worse oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, interesting. I, ha I have an on-off group for my ion thrusters that 100% does not contain all of the ion thrusters. In fact, it contains a couple of them, as far as I can tell, well, that were off probably, for the whole flight. That's a group I probably set up like five streams Ages ago. Ages ago, yeah. <laughs> and, and subsequently, most of those have been shut off and replaced. Hmm. <laughs> I'm slightly scared now I've put down, because one of the tips I got on the comments of the last stream was to put down one, a Tim monitor that just says Tim debug, because it'll output like all of the issues that Tim's having. Um, and and it, it's scrolling off the end of the screen at this point. <laughs> that seems totally legit. So have you seen any increase in building velocity? I, actually, I've just heard everything stop going click, click, click and start actually building things. Oh no, Boris's one is still going click, click, click because we still lack stuff to make shield generators. I don't know what it is we lack to make shield generators and once I've worked that out, I may actually go and try and find some because I imagine that's probably all we're missing aside from the thruster stuff, right? I'm sorry, what, what are we asking about? Shield generators? Uh, no, thrusters. I was asking about what other stuff we're missing. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Well, the thruster components, by the looks of things. You still uh, down on... And then pretty much whatever we need for this uh, jump drive. Uh, super connectors. 600 or so. <laughs> 600 or so. Okay, just one, just one or two. Roger! Okay, uh, which case, next trip for me will be for thruster components then. Roger that, let's just get an empty Boris. See how I'm being all helpful? It's like the anti wedge. The anti wedge. I see. It's not, not actually helpful on its own, just more like, you know, to make a point. <coughs> what you say? <laughs> Nothing, you're very helpful. Thank you. I think crap, we've actually filled up a fair few of the large containers that are sitting around on the main base now. 
So what are we lacking that it's not building then? I think it's going to be thruster components. Uh, I am ditching a whole bunch of extra stuff in here as far as like um, steel plates and motors are concerned. Uh, I noticed you were building some steel plates earlier, so that's Boris empty again. Let's unlock Boris so that he doesn't grab anything back. And then I am actually, oh wow, I'm balanced slightly awkwardly on the front here. Right, apologies, I need to do a really quick be right back. I need to go and turn off the Christmas lights, I left them on outside. And it is now coming up to 11 p.m. And at some point, the neighbors start getting really quite angry with me. Ah. Trying to sleep with like big flashy lights going on outside and all sorts of things. Hey, uh, sorry about that. It's not, not, not intentional, but... I also suddenly remembered that what I have not done, and this is terrible, is downloaded this week's update parody video to show... So uh, let's make sure we get that downloaded too. Can you believe that? I would, I, we would have missed out on our weekly Farrell. On well, Mr. Farrell, no. That wouldn't have been acceptable. No, not at all. Oh, I hear explosions. Yeah, that's what happens if I don't realize I'm in Boris. Because I'm at like a really <laughs> zoomed out angle and then I click. It's Boris kind of eliminates the terrain in that direction. Gotcha. Well, <laughs> fortunately, you didn't park facing towards the... Uh, no, fellowship. no, I, I, I'm trying to avoid parking facing towards anything important, but we do now have a nice selection of craters off off that way. Because uh, at some point, we would have to name it the... Uh, if you kept blowing holes in it, we would have to name it the Gap Spree. Oh, dear. What was it I was saying earlier about dad jokes, but, like, somehow slightly cooler because they've got a bit more of a modern reference to them? <laughs> That's you, Tex. Well, no, <laughs> there, is ab there is absolutely nothing modern about a gaff spree. You, yeah, um, but you know what I mean. It's it's not okay. it's not your typical dad joke. It's got a little more little, topical, little techy twinge to it, <laughs> geeky twinge or whatever. I'll take that. Sure, why not? Assembler on this sucker. Where we put you? Oh yeah, remote control lights. So the lights are actually three floors away on outside. So that would have taken a while longer. Oh, the interior of this is sort of starting to have, well, an interior. Last time I looked at it, it was just made out of, well, half-built blocks, you know, stuff you can't see, the grid stuff. But anyway, looks like I need to go and do another run for Mr. Tex to get him some more engines, because we are most definitely hanging around mostly on that side of things, well, it's the things. Let's go! Yep, sorry guys, I said I need to go and turn off the uh, Christmas lights outside. What's the difference between a duck? 
Anne. And okay, wait, what? No, no, there wasn't any and. It was just what's the difference between a duck? That that that's the bit that's confusing me, Mister Textfile. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Just from chat, Omicron said, "What's the difference between a duck?" Did Texkill wasted? Did Texkill wasted? No, I, as I said, I had to go and turn off the Christmas lights. Although I am inordinately pleased with, <laughs> I made my own Christmas lights this year, in that I bought a couple of strings of uh, LEDs and then bought some transparent, uh, sorry, of, uh, some coloured but still transparent balls. And then filled the balls up with tinsel, and then glued the LEDs in. Uh, and they actually look kind of good, but it did take like four and a half hours of sitting there with a hot glue gun, <laughs> and a bit, uh, wow. reamer, and so on. That's, yeah, uh, that's I, dedication. I, I didn't think it through particularly well, if I'm honest, Tech. They look good, but if, when when you sort of start to factor in, like. Time taken, like so. If you were to actually pay someone for that, they're quite expensive lights now. If you <laughs> plus the raw materials and everything else involved, it's like it seemed cheap to begin with because you're just buying like a cheap string of lights, some cheap balls, and so well, on. Actually, if you put it all together, nah, that's not cheap anymore. I have frequently found out that when I undervalue my the value of my cap of my time, things become much cheaper if I do them myself. That's sort of like when when you become a woodworker. That is the cardinal lesson you learn: is that your your time, if you don't count it, is extremely cheap. Just just but, try not to count it if you can, because if you do start counting it, you're going to start to very quickly realize that ooh, it was much ooh. cheaper to it was much cheaper to actually make or buy whatever you yeah. made, as long as all you're looking for is just the cost of what you're making. But you know, there, I don't do woodworking to like save money because I have spent far more money on the tools than I will ever make saving off, off of buying cheap furniture from like Ikea or something but I get a lot more personal satisfaction out of it and I get to turn off my brain a little bit and just focus on what I'm doing in mm -hmm. the shop and that's kind of priceless now yeah, it's the same with the airsoft teching it's like sitting down and I can lose like a full day just sitting down tinkering with bits so have a, get get a gearbox apart, do some shimming and so on. I had something on in the background and yeah, just chilly, nice and chilly. And at the end of it, you've made the gun worse, and you know, <laughs> at least you've had a good time. <laughs> so for refineries, we need field module and speed, right? Uh, Generally, for refineries, it, you can't do. Is yield there ever? On refineries refinery is the one that you can only do you can do yield on no, you've, you've got dull, the other way around yep i've just just suddenly tweaked on me no refinery is the all one stupid fool <laughs> i'm blaming imperian that's fair enough that seems totally Play, fair playing of other games has confused me I'm not allowed to play other games so it's yield and speed or yield and efficiency speed efficiency is only power I mean, if we really had a power problem, we could whack so many solar panels down there and we'd be absolutely fine, you know? Well, I mean, this isn't going to be on the ship, so... Right, I don't want to take enough thrusters off of this that it can't move anymore, just on the basis that then it'll start drifting. So let's take three off each side to begin with. Side. No, 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 Bob, leave it. One left, one right, on this way, so just the bottom there. Bottom's got one as well. Cool. Now, other directions. God knows where these components are going, of course. 
Okay, so what else can we use besides two assemblers and a refinery on this thing? Anything else that needs to be plumbed in that you can think of? Uh, Maybe some additional storage on the back side. Turrets, and if you can idea. find a spot to whack a... Just a connector somewhere on the bottom that's kind of separated out from all the rest. Uh, that we can whack a conveyor sorter on the back of and just use to ditch stone and scrap metal and stuff like that when we want to. Okay, I can do that. I've already got a landing pad for Boris. No, Boris gets a pad. A... Sick. He does. I'm going to throw a large cargo container in the back here, just because. If I can figure out a way to plumb it. <laughs> okay, that is a lot of grinding going on. Is Boris getting any of this material? Doesn't sound like it. Sounds like Boris is still resolutely doing his best to try and build something he can't. You should be grind before weld. Come on now. You are grind before weld. Ignore colors set. The What's wrong with you? You're not close enough. Oh, nicely done, Wedgie. Thank you. Pa! Rosinante. Oh, nice. That'd be an interesting one to see me. You've done that well. That's quite a pretty looking ship. so behind on this, I'm still on space trucking, lol. Just popped in to do this! Well, thank you, Mark Weavers. Very kind. At least, at least you've got plenty to watch, I suppose. <laughs> Not going to be running short anytime soon. What with these things always being pretty much four hours as well. Space Truckers was ages back. What's that? Episode, like, space four truckers. or five? Oh, oh, I thought he was talking about the movie. No, no, <laughs> no, I just nick movie names. Because I'm that sort of guy. Yeah, well, you know. Okay. Did they all go into... Oh, no, there they are. 1,234 thruster components. <laughs> Fair play, they do actually all fit into one thing. Surely there's some more about somewhere. I don't know if that was all of it, or some of them went into the base as well. Could probably go and check, because the rest of this stuff's not that important. Did the platform itself nab some of this? You there. Do you have thruster components? You do! What else was it we were missing? Thruster components and shield uh, components, Shield right? components and uh, superconductors. Super... Mm, okay, just thruster components in this. So I, I can bring you down one of those. But the other one's just essentially luxury stuff, aren't they, in the end? In the... One of them's for jump drive and one of them's for shield. We can fly without it. The shield is pretty important, that's, given that this is a that's battleship. True. That's true. So, so if we're going to preference one of them, I think the shield is probably the the option we should really gear towards just on the basis that, yeah, without a shield, it's just going to get hurt. But the jump drive, that's optional, in my opinion. Um, at least for the time being. Worst case scenario, we do actually have a large ship jump drive up here in space on the satellite. It's always that option. We could always take that apart. Yeah. Don't particularly want to, but. Ooh. It's our method of moving anything that isn't jump drive equipped, you know? Uh, anything else in here I might want to take? This is all just basically a good excuse for me to just keep grabbling on this, so I'm okay. <laughs> just leave text on the ship for a while. 
but he's it, less willing to do this with the DeLorean in, in Empyrean for some reason. You can't leave him there. What? The DeLorean. I, just just leave I, you I, out. I'm the, the... still having... I'm just having trouble seeing... Still seeing it. It's a problem what, what with the vision, shape. Yeah. So I, I, I yeah, kind of know what you mean. Yeah, it's hard for me to, to, to start building when I'm just... I can't quite visualize. No, I don't... I, don't, I, don't, I do not know what you mean. I mean, and it is There's a bit one. of a weird like, of, of the options that is a strange one. Oh, it's it's inspired I, I love it I just don't necessarily I was able to do it sort of do it in small ship version but the large ship version is still kind of escaping me that's because yeah we're so large in the end isn't it that you start to sort of it's easy to lose perspective regardless I guess I'm bringing the grav jam components because I've got the space for them. And as you say, maybe we can break them down into something we need. I mean, in the end, they're pretty advanced components, right? Oh, yeah. I love how quickly okay, you can I'm fill a really container kind of up with I'm them. I'm really digging the interior here now. Oh, oh you're nice. starting to feel it. Text files. Yeah, I'm it. starting to feel it. I'll have you come take a look and see what you think, but... So, how many prog blocks and timer blocks do you think we need? I've got two, two a piece. Probably more enough than for that. What we need to run? Nah. Between okay. Tim um, running like an airlock script for the doors and so on, and then potentially wanting at least one more in case we do anything funky, like battery, for example. Uh, when I say battery, I mean a battery would have been a better way of describing it, like battery fire. Um, I know just Whiplash has got a script for that now as well, so. It's a bit easier to set okay, up. Okay, I've got to. three computers and four timers now. We could probably slap another one down easily enough. Oh man, Wedge, aim at your computer. I'm not sure I'm gonna do anything more with that. Eh, uh, He's ready to let his 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 madness entwine with ours once again, <laughs> in a, in a particular way that only a real wedge can do. Fired insanity. Oh, have we you got building I'm... chat? Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 easy. That was interesting, live spike. <laughs> Always happens when you're grinding. Uh, ooh, I've got something new. Arceos Torpedo Corvette Mark III. It is approaching. <laughs> it, yeah, so is the s military escort. Hmm. Does anyone know how to stop Windows 10 from being Windows 10? Um, no, not really. Uh, if you do figure it out, do let me know. Short of, like, rolling back? No, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, you can make it become Linux, and then it's no longer as Windows 10. That's what I'm saying, short of short of installing something else. And he specifically said, is there any way to make Windows 10 stop being Windows 10? So you're asking for something slightly different there. Oh, well, sorry. Can't help you there, then. Top Corvette does sound a bit scary, I have to admit. We also haven't been attacked by drones for a while, but I suspect that's because we're spending so much time around the moon, and I think the gravity screws with them. Yep. It's almost cheaty, to be honest. But I'm not going to complain. It's given us enough time to actually catch up. Or we were definitely kind of hurting for... Catch up. ...time to actually be able to do something. I don't know about that. We were doing all right back at that first base. We just had some fun little encounters with stuff blowing up around us. That was all. Is that what we're going to call it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Plasma Hawk Engineer Wars will be back in the new year. This month, I'm going to stay away from it because there's a lot of family stuff going on and so on, and I've got other episodes to catch up on. So, yeah, in the new year, Engineer Wars should return, especially as we don't have uh, techs on and off for this. And without his dry commentary, it just wouldn't be the same. Dry? Okay. It I is like fairly that. dry at times, yeah. No, I'm not definitely... Uh... Sometimes. Sometimes it is dry as a Texas summer in the south. But I think you do need a bit of dry. I think dry is good. 
Ooh, uh, dropping quite quickly. Go hydrogen. <laughs> go, go hydrogen. I'm finding this is the best way to deal with Boris at the moment is like fly him on iron, on iron, on ion. Uh, and then every time you freak out, you've always got the nine button, which will slow you down much quicker than you expect. And so that's good. You've always got that sort of extra bit of room of, oh, that was better than I thought, rather than the other way around. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm looking up. I'll die. It's landing. Stop freaking out. You? Yeah, it's me landing. It's not happy when I do that. Right, that should be a ton of um, thruster components. Oh, wow, the big ones use... Okay, uh, that's enough thruster components to build one. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe finish some of the small ones. Yeah, no, it, she's, uh, she's thirsty. Do I have an oxygen generator on this? That's a good question. Did I, for, did I forget that? And have you oxygen sealed it as well? Uh, I, it, not quite oxygen sealed yet, but no, I do so have an oxygen. What are we missing yet? from thruster components? I might have to just go and get the raw resources at this point. Because there's no more up in space now. <laughs> I, I grabbed what we had. Oh, when you've got this many mods on, finding anything in the production menu is interesting. He says, clicking where you'd hope a search would be, but isn't. There's no search there, that is not a thing. Well, I still don't quite understand why they just arbitrarily, some things have searches, some things don't have searches. We're missing gold and iron. So, okay, what can we disassemble? Disassemble. Uh, disassemble is a very different thing. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do that quite often, though, for some reason. It's one of those ones that I just mess up. Uh, thruster components also need gold, so gold is clearly one of our main concerns. Is there gold in gravity gen? There is tons of gold in gravity generated components. Huzzah! Take apart all of the gravity generator components. Do it, do it now. So how many did we actually bring back? Not that many. Like I've already gone through almost all of them. Maybe another hundred left and then 64 reactor. My my king reactor. Yeah, they've only got silver, so yeah, we don't don't take apart the reactor ones. Okay, and what will we be missing for once this is finished disassembling? It's all of them, right? Oop. What were we missing for shield components as well? The superconductors, wasn't it? Superconductors were also missing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, superconductors for the shields and for the, uh, for okay, the now, jump drive. Well, I've just added a ton of gold into the system, so this should now start building a quite a lot of stuff. It should start finishing things off, basically. You quite clearly lie. I do not. Oh, and there's in the Boris's building repairs. Not you. Talking to Boris, leave me alone. No, not Boris, Bob. You have to cajole him into doing what you want. You no, just have no, to sweet no, talk no, him. It's not, it's not cajole so much as just sweet talk. 
Hey, come on, Boris. Help a, help a brother out. He'll go, well, I guess. This one time. Oh, well, and there's this misplaced box, apparently. Hey, I see two completed thrusters. Yeah, I've been taking stuff apart. The only thing we're missing now... Yeah, it's super conductors, super conductors and thruster components, but we have all of the ores. The lowest ore now is silver, and then iron and magnesium. But yeah, we're set up for all the ores at the moment, so... Nice. That should mean that it just builds itself at this point. Basically. Whether we have enough for everything, I don't know, but... Draxis, Storm Shadow, that's a good point bringing that up. Some of you guys may have heard that Patreon have recently made, or haven't recently made the change, they haven't made the changes yet. They are making some changes later on this month that basically means that instead of the creator paying all of the fees involved in the transaction, which is um, something like uh, about 5%, uh, they are pushing that fee onto the people that are supporting instead which is a pretty douchebaggy move because the fee is 2.9% plus 35 cents as a flat fee. Problem is if you're donating a dollar, which is, you know, most of most of the people that support me on Patreon and I fucking love them for it and I quite love like the support, you know, the service the Patreon offer, but most of those people support me for $1 or $3, which means you're suddenly paying a massive amount extra on top of what you were before if you look at it percentage-wise. However, I have heard that recently Patreon have at least recognized on Twitter that this isn't actually turning out like they hoped. Like, I, I do think they had generally good intentions behind this. I don't think they were trying to intentionally go out and fleece a bunch of people. I think it's just a, a slightly stupid misunderstanding of exactly who their main audience is. Like, it's not the big supporters, their main audience is the smaller supporters. But as I understand it from their Twitter feed, that they are now going to go back and relook at this decision, and there will be, I believe they said, a solution incoming soon, which means that they're probably going to change something. So I hope that goes through, but do be aware. Thank you very much if you guys have supported me in the past, do support me, you have donated whatever it might be, it obviously makes a massive difference. But that is coming up, I believe it goes in place on the 18th of December. And as it currently stands, the system is going to move the burden of payment fees onto the people that are supporting rather than onto me. I would much rather I pay them. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's how it's going to stick because it seems like they're starting to realize because everyone's getting up in arms about it that it's actually not a very good idea. Well, they didn't actually asked the content creators, didn't they, right? No, and it's like so many of the content creators are like, no, I'd just rather take the fees myself, thanks. But I appreciate whatever support I can get. The last thing I want is for that support to be somehow like obfuscated behind some weird extra fees that don't quite make any sense. It's like I want to support for a dollar, but actually that ends up being like $1.45 because raisins. Most people, I think, would just go, no, I'll take that fee. It makes it so simple for the people that do want to support. It's fine. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I think it was probably not. And, and having no knowledge of this at all. I don't think it was malicious because I I mean, I've I've been a supporter of, of Jack Connie's stuff as a musician for a long time. I have a hard time believing that he would deliberately do something to hurt creators. I, I think the guy legitimately a has CEO. a good mindset. You know, I, I, I do not believe that that's his approach. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. But that said, it it is a boneheaded decision. I mean, I... I yeah. Tex, <laughs> um, I need somewhere on your wonderful craft here to place a, uh, a cannon. A cannon of my namesake uh, with a connection port on the base. Is, is, is there somewhere that I can do uh, such a thing? Yeah, I Perhaps I we could do this power. as a underneath cannon, even. Maybe this could be uh, our... How big is it? 
or fairly large. large. Um, it is. Oh no, it's three by three by three. Uh, would it fit on the very front? Like where the where one of the turrets is right now? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, it would. But I was more thinking this is like a our downwards turret. An additional. As, oh, as, okay. as, as the lower turret, like maybe on the rear, we've got quite a flat base at the back in the rear. Uh, I can't place it down at the moment because it's too tall, but because we're so close to the ground, the block's underneath, you know. Yeah. Um, but it would go down there, and there is already a, car, a conveyor port down here next door to where you might want to put it. I would say if you can find a spot, put it. All right. I found a spot. I will put it. I think you need to. I think I think you you know as well as I do, but it will look good. So it, it's it's our design. It's not. It'll it's need to be gr gribbled. Well, you know I do like a good gribble. Everyone likes a good gribble. Speaking of which, how are you liking the back here? That's definitely something. I feel like you. that's almost appropriate. I mean, yeah. You know, a sort of black adder. It's, it's like a wibble, it's a, a, a griddle, and it's what happens if you leave text for too long. It sticks two pencils up his nose. A, gr a gribble. <laughs> I don't want to hear any griping about my gribbling because you left me alone. Oh, okay. dear. I'm next. Uh, Funny. They're, they're, I really do kind of enjoy doing this this kind of stuff but that is the one thing that all griping aside i've really enjoyed uh -huh. about space engineers is it has given me a venue to to sort of tap into that creative thing that's it's there's sort of an instant gratification place a block it's there like woodworking but without all the work <laughs> For all the yeah. stock prep and all the, you know, it's also fun in its own way. Mistakes so about and this thing? not having the right equipment, so you're trying to mask it, so do something else. And yeah, yeah. Oh, you can put it underneath here, huh? Yeah, bro. There's a spot yeah. that's just crying out for, like, put a gun on me here, please. I think so. I think that'd be great. I think this is where it's going to be. And I want to use this gun because this gun is not only made by someone on Discord, uh, but also, technically, it's my gun. It's, named, it's like even named after me and shit, but I've never even used it. So, today is the day. Can you place it? No, I need to remove a few blocks from this base underneath. <laughs> I need to remove it, the base to be able to place it. It's a tiny bit Gotcha. too tall. It might be a bit big, now, therefore, underneath. Okay, so we're not going to be able your... to land with it. Yeah, I was just thinking that actually, yeah, this might not be a great idea. <laughs> Given where your landing gear are. Tell you what, I've, I've got another spot for you. See what you think of this. We can either put it on the front in place of one of these two turrets. Which, given the profile of that, I kind of like the idea of having it be the second one here. So... Instead of that gun, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then that'll allow me. And, and then there's also this area right here on the back side of the of the landing pad, which could either be a turret like over the flying bridge or on the back side. Well, the other thing is this thing does have even if the, if this turns out to be ridiculous, there are a few other more sensible guns in here as Indeed. well. Um, but like I'll, I'll pull out a couple of the. The, the more sensible versions. I, I think versions I think the gun that has actually been made for you and named for you should be front and center on it. Indeed, and and well, I was thinking maybe it should not even be front and center, but perhaps um, slightly rear and center on the basis that there is also another gun. Uh, sorry, yeah, front is right. There is another gun as part of this set that was not made for me. It was made for for someone else that you might know. Mm. Where is it? Look, this one here called the Shaco Launcher. Um. Just so you know, put that may, one up on the top. May, maybe have both, the, the 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 orc one in the front, and the. 
Well, we can make it. We can always make it taller. Making it. Uh, no, I don't think, don't think it needs to be taller. Let's see. Let's see what these turn out as. No, I meant. I meant just in general. We can. We can put another gun right up on top here. I mean, t to be fair, Shaq's one almost feels like it should go on the back. But we've got a, a platform there for landing on, so. Well, did you see where I just put a block? What do you think about there? Uh, let me go and find Ah! Help me. Oh, I see. Up there. Uh, I need to see what these guns actually look like first, actually, it, it, in order to decide that now. Okay, well, slap them down. Let's see I'm, what it looks I'm gonna like. do it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We got that one, and we got that one. Okay, actually, um, these might work in the positions intended. Hmm. The shack one. The shack one is the rocket launcher. Not sold on the texture. Mm, if I'm honest. Totally. Is this a connection point here? Oh, there the you go. It might work better in different colors. Or is that a the connection points on the controller. bottom? Controller. Well, there's there's a there's a yellow square here though. Oh, okay. Back of launcher. Yeah, that's a controller. Uh, maybe it's not in the build model. Apparently not. Yeah, they're, they're all right. I'm just not sold on that texture for this ship, really. Looks more um, base defensey. Although you see what I mean about the um, the shack one being sort of more something you'd stick on the back mm -hmm. almost. Oh, hello. Hello. We've we've got a little sniper oh, drone hi. coming in for a bit hi. of a cheeky uh, cheeky action, and he's just hit the ground. Just hit the deck. Oh, actually, no, he hasn't. He's struggling. You having, you having trouble there, friend? Let me help you. Can I come and put you out of your misery, perhaps? What was the status on Wedge's um, satellite network? Did that ever get done? The satellite's in space, but... Oh, it's so angry at the fact that I'm trying to grind it. But it can do so little about it, poor thing. Oh, a new sponsor as well. Markham. Markham67. Sorry, man. Missed that completely. Wasted. My H2O is, is kind of empty. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, right, now that drone's out of the sky. Run! No, my H2O is... My hydrogen's empty. That's fine. You freaked me out, though. My O2's got 34. Hydrogen. Whatever. Okay, there's thruster components and stuff up there on that thing. Not many, because it's a small ship, but yeah. There we go. There you go, Bob. Nicely done. Yeah, DGM plays threw me off with his H2O. That's water. That's none of that's none of the relevant things. But and from that, I interpolated as O2 rather than as hydrogen. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me cheap. You can say I lay a C. You can say I weep. Now she is slowly building up, but we look like we're back out of something again. Either that, or you're out of range of the building stuff. There's, there's two builders on this thing. It shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, but is it, it, it is hooked up as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so. Yep. Uh, that shouldn't be. A it should be. It should be pulling. Let's see, we're probably... Chances are we're probably back, run out of something again. We got superconductor. We don't have thruster components. All right. Mm-hmm. Nor can we make them because we're back out of gold. Basically. Okay, what can 
All right, disassemble. Four gold. I can't, because Tim keeps interfering. Go away, Tim. Where do I get this sick-ass music, man? I get this sick-ass music from Epidemic Sound, because they are fucking awesome. Not only that, but while I'm, I'm not going to say I, I, I had any involvement in, in publicising Epidemic, I do feel a little level of pride in like being on board earlier than some of that. Like, I've all of a sudden started to notice that like there's some pretty big YouTubers are now using like Epidemic Sound as well. So you start hearing these tracks come up, and you're like, "Hang on a second, that's mine, you bastard." That's that's that's, that's my, track. my track. I got that. That's my one. You can't just you can't just <laughs> stomp in here with all your viewers and stuff and, and run off with my music. Oh wait, no, you can because you licensed it. <laughs> He's like, oh wait, yeah, you you pay your your ten to twenty dollars a month as well, don't you? Oh, and, oh well. And the amount, honestly, the amount of music you get for that oh, if you're it's a streamer ridiculously is, good. Um, it's really. Like, well, okay, totally worth it. It's worth noting that as a streamer, it only applies on YouTube, um, and uh, you need to get special permission to use it elsewhere. Um, I am lucky enough that I have such permission, but that is not something that comes by standard with the license. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, oh dear. Ah, ah. Um, someone's angry. Somebody is angry. Somebody was shooting at me. Don't blow up shoals on my ship. It isn't done yet. I, someone we can't even see now as well. All right, I might mobilize Boris. Yep. What do I think about the glasses for colorblind people? What I think is that is one of the things that I am intending on investigating at some point. And when I do so, I will do a video about it. And I will do a legitimate video about it because I've watched a lot of people talk about it and they tend to be sponsored people you know they've been provided the stuff for free and they also tend to be people that do not also have um uh no a general vision problem as well so they aren't paying for the ones that need like full prescription lenses too which obviously adds a huge amount into the cost of doing it mm -hmm. um so yeah i i, I do want to try it at some point uh, and find out if it helps. Uh, and especially now I've looked into a bit as to how it works and actually understand like the methodology behind how they intend to do it, which is um, basically... Oh, hello. One of the, it, It's down on the ground, it looks like. Yeah. But still capable of giving us some hassle. Oh, is it yeah. that sniper? He's like, I'm not dead yet. Yeah, it's all right. My um, my gat turrets are. And you're gonna go. You're gonna, gonna go give it some fun. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, that's it. You, know, you just finish up. Cool down, cool down, we Barney. There we go. Anyone else? You over there look like you want some fun as well. This is quite good for like ground assault, just because I can control so well. What I'm shooting at just by out it's like uh, aligning the ship correctly. Like the ship, since they fixed it so that you don't blow up your own stuff, basically. Uh, various utility shuttle Mark IV. Hmm. Boris utility. How far are you off from. Do you want to come and man a turret for me? Sure. I'm thinking maybe uh, think we can gather most, some more resources. I mean, piracy or not, style. I'm actually not really that necessary for this whole operation. <laughs> I'm I mean, sure I'm you're not. I'm more around thinking from the mindset. But yes, give me one so second. Like, as far as now, current tasks are involved in greebling only. Maybe you can come yeah. and help me gather some more yeah, of the critical no, components. I think that's. I think that's a fine idea. We can leave Mr. Uh, Mr. Bob. She's here looking to good do, already, and Mr. Bob can finish off work. some of the work. And I just need to connect back up again quickly to unload. I've got a bunch of like random cargo. Uh, you want to just look up to? Uh, what are we calling her? 
we decided. I mean, the Ministry of Love is the current name. Yeah, and and it was a fine gag name when we were talking in '84 that stream, but I don't know that. <laughs> don't know if you want to keep it as a permanent one. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a little inside jokey. It is a bit. I'm actually I'm actually fairly proud of how she's turning out. So I guess I want her to have a. I more give majestic a shit now, sounding so. name. Well, I don't know. I mean, I it's a bit a like before. that. You know what I mean. I actually yeah. quite like it now. So no, 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 I'm, no crappy actually, names I'm for actually, her. Uh, I'm actually kind of proud of it now. Right now, I'm not. Hmm. Yeah, where are you at? Are you. I'm just Heading unloading back. Boris. Uh, hang on. Hang on. We had a rocket. Nope, no, we're not, we're not even out of rockets. Oh, hey, lag tastic. Right, text. What are you doing? Yep. I'm about. Want to come and join Boris for uh, some Argentavius or Argentavis killing? Exactly. Ministry of Firepower. <laughs> it's actually not bad. <laughs> you know what? I I don't hate that. I mean, it's definitely a uh, E.M. M. Banks kind of uh, reference. A little, yeah. Mm. I mean, though, though, honestly, his would be more like, you know, ridiculous amounts of firepower or something. The white whale. It's, I'm not calling this thing Moby Dick. Uh, no, you, you it, for, for Banks, it would be something quite self-ironic, I think. So it would be something like Freedom Train or something like that, you know? Hmm. <laughs> All right. The Peacekeeper. Hey. The peacekeeper. Okay, so you have the centerline front turret with rockets, mm -hmm. if nothing else. Ten all loaded stuff. Centerline front rocket. But unfortunately, I can only load two at a, fire two at a time without reloading. That's kind of quite annoying. Oh, IoT and Have Camp's got a great one. The, the Presumptuous Destiny. That's a very Banksian sort of title. Oh. <laughs> So we've got a utility shuttle Mark IV. Plan being, disable if possible, bring back what parts we can. So you're not firing the 88s is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I, 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 if I fire the 88s, I'm going to do it carefully with my I can manually fire a single 88 sort of approach, I think. Because, um, yeah. They are fully loaded as it currently sits. Uh, and that does normally result in the obliteration of said target. Slowing down. Using the hydros to match speed. Oh, you know what? Somebody has been suggesting this name the last couple times I've been building a large ship. How do you feel about Noisy Cricket? Uh -huh. A little bit of Men in Black reference, I like it. Still a great movie, that first one. Don't care what you say. It's a, still a good movie. <laughs> From a sort of, hey, it's fun perspective. UES built by committee. <laughs> I have a turbulent air clearance. You see, people are, people are pulling out some actual Ian Banks names now. Wasn't it clear air turbulence? The real one, though, yeah. Um, Pretty sure it was. It was the cat. The, yes, that sounds awful familiar. So, turbulent air clearance is kind of your reverse, basically. <laughs> I quite like that. Oh, shit. Beer overboard. You all right? No, right, beer overboard. 
here on much. the keyboard? No, not so much. A little bit on the stream deck. On the stream deck? Oh, well, that's... that's lovely. Yeah, I'm good at this. Actually, a little bit on the monitor there as well, but we'll not mind that. <laughs> it has been. It has been. Uh, Gumbo Diplomat. I, I still think is one of the the best names that he's actually come up with. Gumbo Diplomat. Yeah, it's a sort of co uh, colonial reference, basically. Mm -hmm. Gumbo diplomacy. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, I will have to be right back for one short second. I need to find some sort of method of cleaning <laughs> the bobbled beverage. Ruffle, the USS, hold my beer. <laughs> oh. Unbearable power. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, okay. Um, okay, did that happen? I can't tell. No, it happened, apparently. Um, I appear to be dead. Yeah, well. Did I run out of oxygen? Uh, no, no, we, uh, we, we, uh, we re-entered the, uh, gravity field while you were off. Oh, flying. no. Oh, no. Um, That's not acceptable. It's, it's still flyable. Um, what I'm going to put the dampeners on. I'm going to put the dampeners on. That's not fair. RL problems can't lead to dampers waste fuel and cause problems in space. They were off yeah, for a reason. Right. Unless, of course, you know, you you go to get a towel after you yeah. spilled your beer and then crash back onto the moon. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm bringing her back. You you should be here for the arrival. I almost don't even want to see, but all right. Let me out. Boris, Boris, where are you? I'm, I'm a little amazed that A, it's in I one survived, piece. and B, it survived. Well, I don't know that I would go so far as to say that it's in one piece. <laughs> oh, no, Boris. God, she's coming home. And uh, just remember. A Russian moon, Boris, oh. fly you. No. Boris. No. No, that's not cool. It's actually surprisingly intact, considering. Oh, shit, no, it lost its projector as well. Yeah. Uh, one of the bits that dropped off was the projector, so I can't just turn the projection back on again and rebuild it. Well, if you remember where the projector is, you can put it back on there. Actually, no. Tell you what. We put a, we put a projector on the front of this thing and then align the projection on it. Yeah. And then it will actually replace the projector that we needed. 
Yeah, this whole time I've still just been desperately trying. Amazingly, it didn't somehow it still flies, but yeah, it's not in the best con condition right now. Okay, ah, well. you know what? Screw it, I'm reloading text. I just can't <laughs> be asked, man. <laughs> Cannot be when, asked when, with with beer related issues. That's not part of when, space engineers. It's not part of the survival <laughs> mode. Is oh, and if you drop your beer, beer shit will go wrong. Um. Okay. When did you last save? Uh, well, it auto saves every ten minutes. So, not that long ago. Regardless, okay. like to the point where I need to. If I'm gonna re restart, I need to do it like about now before it we does so again. It. We could rebuild it. We could rebuild it if need be. We do have the bits, but like, I cannot be responsible for crashes that occur when I'm not actually at the computer. That's surely that's got to be part of it. <laughs> oh, Wedge isn't even in here, and he's still being incredibly helpful. Don't drop your beer, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Old Cat says, uh, you bring the beer upon yourself. Well, that is true. Thankfully, it didn't sort of go too far in that direction, just right behind the Elgato stream deck, which it sort of got, is my four terabyte external hard drive enclosure with like big holes in the front of it for cooling. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, we should take care of that. Probably not something I should like openly leave on the desk in the positions it's in. Uh, okay, I'm already dead in this. Was it was it a beer in the shape of an atmospheric thruster? <laughs> oh, you kid. <laughs> it was not a beer in the shape of an atmospheric Channeling some wedge hog tonight, are you, Mr. Takes? Well, I see. I, I, I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> I was a... I was... All I saw was... <laughs> It, literally, it was a case of I was down in one of the tur in one of the turrets. Next thing I knew, the sim suite was 0 .07 as it was interacting, plowing into the ground with the shields. Plowing into the ground with the shields. <laughs> yeah. I should beer proof my desk, says Mikati. I should raise everything up on stilts. So it's just like it's impossible for me to do anything too bad. Caravel says, new name for the battleship as a result of this. That's Fadania, comrade. <laughs> oh, this is the point where I, sh I feel like I should know uh, a decent Klingon, Klingon toast. Mm. HMS much assembly required. Boris, Soviet pancake become more pancake like. I like me. <laughs> uh, let's see, we could call it. Thank you, Grilled Salmon. What a, what a wonderful but also rather strange name you have there, my friend. <laughs> this is, he's called Grilled Salmon. Oh. Because why not? I actually had grilled salmon two nights ago, and it was very good. Slightly burnt the skin on the bottom, ever so slightly, but yeah, not bad. <laughs> the SS I got this. HMS, bring a towel. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's a decent reference regardless, but I, I still feel like the SS I about, got this is pretty damn good as well. How, how about we call it the Hoopy Fruit? Mmm. Hoopy Fruit, wow. I'm impressed you even remembered that, damn. The, if the pancake becomes more pancake-like, is it the grape? Hmm. This is a good no, question. actually, I'm, what I'm is actually, repeatedly smashing our shield somewhere? I'm, is it just I'm, me I'm, being uh, on the ground? It is just me being. No, on the it's ground. probably it's probably that uh, drone. No, as soon as I took off, it stopped. It's just me being on the ground. 
I don't know. While the uh, hold SS hold my beer has some attraction, <laughs> I think I got this. It has a little more panache. This is probably been suggested before, but would a beer hat decrease chances of spillage? I need a beer <laughs> hat for streaming. Is that? It, I don't think this is a good idea. You, do do you know what those are? Or is that a particularly ridiculous American invention? Uh, you, it is both of those things. Okay. Like, yes, I do know what they are, and yes, it is a particularly ridiculous American invention. <laughs> is this acceptable? <laughs> sure. Uh, oh, well, a, a donation from Jared Rainsford. Hi, Waste. How did you meet slash come to know Wedge and Tex? A via space engineers. Basically. Um, Tex... That's, that's actually a, a difficult one. Um... Um, Wedgie, I know because he was. Uh, I sort of, I, I came to know Wedgie via the fact that he was another space engineer's YouTuber. Um, I, but I can't honestly tell you the exact meeting circumstances. I guess it will have been streamwise somewhere down the line. Either I joined one of his, or he joined one of mine, or something like that. Tex, uh, I was actually reminded fairly recently of this. Oh, okay. Here's um, up. The first time we met was during uh, one of Shaq's uh, videos. Uh, we were filming the, right. uh, the Red Squadron one, and you were one of the voices, and I was one of the... Uh, you were one of the pilots, and I was one of the pilots. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't actually remember that I was in that video. Somebody pointed out to me, and I went, Oh, no, no, that was that wasn't I was in that, and then... That sounds like someone else. You, you've got to be... Yeah, yeah. that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I, and then we, I was like, uh, "No, that's actually my voice. I actually was." Oh in shit! There. Okay, no, that's prob probably is me, but the sounds thing. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. So I think that was the first time we actually probably did something together. Probably you did something together. I could meeting wise, though. I mean, that that's via group survival, basically. Like, I ended up chatting with text from that because you were sort of. Oh, I was yeah, I was just, just another Discord a, a member around as another sort of Discord member and helping things out and so on, and then yeah. warm body for the uh, for the various because I was handling the map for group survival for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's why we ended up talking a lot was because you were helping with the building of some of the season two stuff, uh, and I was the one with the map files, and so it kind of went from there almost. Holy hell, a 50 pound donation from Sir Dusa. Well, thank you very much, man. <laughs> That's seriously cool. Thank you, Tur. I think you this may come in useful, he says, to try and find a way to beerproof your desk. <laughs> the plan long term is to basically, he says, slightly distracted by banning people. Uh, the plan long term is I've got an up, uh, uh, one of those sit-stand desks and everything is going to be on a monitor stand. My PC is actually going to be on a shelf behind the desk. And so the desk itself will be clear of pretty much everything except for like my pads and my keyboard and mouse and stuff like that. So Tex, you ready to give this another go? Yes. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Num number two attempt to, to not lose I, Boris. I, I I think that would be a fun idea. And this time, I, uh, I've put has, the beer is, on a is completely it actually different desk. It's not even on the same desk. Yeah, but is it is the, the thing we were going after still there? Uh, no. Not that we can see from here, no. Well then. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, is, which is why I, which is why I hadn't immediately jumped right back into the cockpit. Yeah, of course, go. of course. You'd noticed it, and I hadn't. Sure, sure. It's just a hate of this text file. Mm-hmm. Too busy gribbling. Gribbling, texting, and texting. What? Ah! Well then. <laughs> it's as good a place to any. I guess I'm gonna die here. What? Just get out of it. There is no way out of it. You've blocked it off. Oh. <laughs> Did I pull a wedge? Not only that, but uh, th therefore, there is a space in there for two know, blocks of something. I was, I was something. noticing that. Yep. 
Jump two more things. I'm gonna leave that as a potential space. Wrap my keyboard in a big plastic bag. Is, I'm, is, that, I'm is not that the answer? The equivalent of when your boots get wet, so you end up like taking your boots off and putting a plastic bag around each one of your feet and then putting them back in the boots again because that's the solution. And then walk for another eight miles and then realize why that's a really bad idea if your feet start falling apart. Done that one, one too many times, I have to admit. So yes, if something else pops on the radar, we should absolutely go. It's up. Gremlin oh, XL. It showed up. No, it's a different thing. Uh, but there's a Gremlin no, that XL. That is not. That is not the the nice vulnerable shuttle that we were talking about, is it? It's a Gremlin XL. I'm not that bothered. Okay, well, if it really causes us major issues, Boris does have like 20 Mark One batteries. I can just delete it. That's true. Can. Okay, let's do it. I will delete. Delete. Oh, come on. Seriously. Paste Boris even color. has a few shield generators. Yeah, I know. That's what allowed it to survive that to much not, of a crash. To not be completely dead, yeah. And yeah, to not be completely One of them is not completely charged, even. But at least not that. You in? I'm coming. He's coming. It's almost the same. Well, I'm, we're waiting for you here. Say I'm ready. I'm Saucy ready. meat and puppet. No, that's not quite right. That means. Ooh, yee, ah, no. Too much, too much potential for uh... shiny me bicycle. Grilled salmon says, "Pick a city name above Beaumont, Texas, because Beaumont is not the symbol of success in SE Texas." What? And yeah, well, there are you they, go. Are they playing Texas cities here? Um, dude, looks well right. Oh, okay. Like dead ahead uh, now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Barnacle drones. It looks like they're dropping out of the sky, I have to admit. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I think that's handled that. Well then, as you were, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know why they're talking about Beaumont and Lubbock and other places like that. I have that. no idea. Sometimes chat just sort of goes off on their own sort they of They have tangent. their own plan at times, yeah, I know, I know. Oh, Gremlin military version to what? Um, oh, what was that? What is lathering us with a rocket or two? Um... I don't know, I've got Gremlin military version and Gremlin XL. So if it is. No, I'm seeing them coming up from dead below quiet. us. Time for a bit of Hydra. I don't even see where that's coming from. Dead ahead. Oh, I see that. It, I thought that was debris from the. All right. Oh, you silly AI. Did you go through all the missiles? Yes, you did, didn't you? You, you got no more missiles. <laughs> yeah. Doll. Um, well, I'm glad we intercepted those before they made it to the base. What, the, the triple limpet drones, the, the barnacle drones that we really... Yeah. Does that mean that maybe something over that direction is launching them? Mm, I'm not sure that their barnacle drones are spawned. I think they're just spawned by the mod. But they may be well wrong. be, yeah. All right, let's go and check out this Gremlin XL then. 
The biggest grot says he thinks that HMS student driver would be fitting. I can't be a student driver at this point. I'm just a bad driver. It's a different thing. It's like I've different. had all the learning time necessary. I just still haven't actually figured it out yet. There is a fair point that gravity did intersect. More more so than, than we did. I may potentially have hit them with Boris's first barrel. Target. I don't know. We have a gremlin. We had something three three kilos away. Yeah, I know. That's the one we're heading for. Oh, gremlin XL. Right, if good. you want to grab one of the gats, they're always yep. fueled up. I'm going to be on the right side. Right side gat, Roger. I see that one spazzing around in some crazy fashion, so I can imagine that's probably you. <laughs> I don't know that it's going to do much. So That sounded like an editorial statement that I'm just going to totally overlook. Okay, uh, that's... That's big. Fairly chunky. Yeah, it is. Not massive. It's it's, it's XL. It, it it's like a, a yeah. It's a big version of a small ship, so it's still sort of set up to have a cockpit and stuff. It's got like an big, it's got a Gatling ship. turret on the front. I'm not yep, seeing any see rear that. turrets at the moment. Nope. I think we can approach from the rear. So I'm going to try and hide us behind the bodywork of the ship. Between the, I'll call out uh, if and I then see if you can just cut underneath. off some important bits. All right, now it's up against the black background, and I can see a pretty much a total of feckle. But okay, you're doing good. Still lit up for me. At 1.23, 1.15, I'm trying to match with dampers off. Slow our sideways movement. Right, that's a good angle to approach it from. Okay. Dead underneath. Up right behind it there. And I don't see anything on the bottom. No, I'm not seeing anything. All right, let's use the hydro to stop us. There we go. Right. And we can we hack it, or do we have a hacking computer on this loaded? We don't. There's no hacking computer. So no. we, the only way to do that is to abort it and do it from that approach. I'm going to try and sit us at a nice distance behind. Okay. We're about to pop within 800. So let me uh, let me kill the yep. other. Slowing down. I'm gonna sit at this sort of distance. Pretty much matching velocities now. We are gaining slowly. There we go. Okay. It's in. It's within 800. Nothing's firing. Yeah, no, no, we're clean from the back. I'm, I'm sitting within 800 like this, so if you want to pick off any choice targets from rear, you can. Uh, what do you want me to shoot at on this thing? We're going otherwise, to try to Otherwise, it. we can just move in a bit. Yeah, I think we've been. Uh, engines just lit up. Yeah, only from range. I think, I think that's the LOD. Oh, okay. You know, we just come in range of it actually showing us that effect rather than them turning them on. Okay. Uh, let me turn that other turret off. No, that was the one I was shooting. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, it seemed to be AI shooting. What were you shooting at? So, no, I was I was just see if I could take out some of one of those some of those engines. Okay, approaching slow. Has the right side been blown off already? It does look like it is missing part of it. I have to admit. There's no point hitting the engines because it's not actually using the engines to drive at the moment. It's just floating at a set speed. Okay. You know I don't, what I mean? I can't identify any computer blocks. So I think maybe I, I, sneak I think we approach from peek behind. over the top and I take and I take out the turret. That would be a safer approach, I have to admit. Alright, alright, I'm gonna poke you up. Let me know when you're approaching target angle on the turret. It's on the front. What is that on the back? Is that like a jump drive that's just all ground down? Yeah, it is. Pair off. It's two jump drives. Okay. There you go. How are we looking on that? Don't have a target now. Don't have a target anymore. No, I know. I, we were just getting shot a lot, so I wanted to, now you know where the bead is. 
Yep, I've got him. I don't think I'm hitting it, though. There we go. He's on fire. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, I think there was one more up top, maybe. On the front, yeah. Yep. This is a bigger turret. Keep an eye out. It's still flying on dampers. Oh, uh, turn off, uh, turn off, Bob. Uh, I don't have a bind for it. Two secs. I mean, although, do we want to turn off, Bob? Um, I don't know. Or do we want? I don't think we want to capture this. It's no, just thruster it components from your ship, you know. Right, yep. keep an eye out for the front turret. Roger that. I'm gonna peek over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go EVA real quick. No, I'm, I'm raising. Well, I can't index down that far. So yeah, gonna, no, but I know, but I can lower the. Sorry, you just okay. need to tell me that I can lower the front end. I'm just sort of. I don't want to bring us up too fast because we'll come out way into view of that thing. That might have been the only one. By okay. the things. Yeah, that's the. That was the one. That was the one. Right. Well, let's. I can. I can see the cockpit. Do we want let to build and the repair it? And see if I can. Let me, let me see if I can hack the cockpit and fly it back. Ooh. Almost colliding with floating at my thrusters. Uh, ion thrusters. Sorry. Successful mission. No, that's actually an Atmo. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Off. Uh, you want to lock onto it? Land Candy. onto it? That way we can stop it. Yeah, anyone who's questioning why you fly without dampers, it's like, this is why you fly without dampers. Look how much more controlled this is than if you were trying to do this using your like with dampers on and you're up, just blipping up, come it. Come back. Come no, back. I, no, I know. Unless you want to just talk. I didn't realize that a bit, bit of it was um, sticking up like that. Hey, well, let me hack that connector and you can just connect into it. It's a funny angle. It's fine. Okay, your, your nose is high. Yep. Oh, I almost had it there. You bring your nose down you can do two gear at the same time i'm on no i'm not thought i was on yep. now there you go lock i am let's okay. slow this puppy down now uh, where'd that emma emma thruster go there you go there it is she stopped Captured ourselves another big one. This is like fishing. <laughs> this is space engineers fishing. Is what we're doing right here. Okay, the, this to me looks like a terrapod job. To be honest. Yep, we can do that if we got enough space on Boris. Possibly not. Uh, you know what we do have though. We've got a big container right behind this thing. We have that. Pretty we much could empty. put parts into it, and then we put those parts into it and, and we carry can it down with the land. Carry the container with us. All right. Well. Hmm. It's not that easy to achieve, as far as like you can't just let Bob go at it. We can. We can indeed. We, uh, we set up the ignore color and we paint the connector. It, it's and more the, from uh, the idea that um, it will just leave stuff floating in space. I'm sure of it. We'll take it to. Ah, oh, that there's a good idea. Nice, or, or, nice or call, Mika. Part of it. No, take Mika, it to the space station. Take it to the space station where we've got the cargo sitting there. I've got the hydrogen thrusters for exactly this okay. sort of occasion. Hold, hold still for a second. No worries. Let me. Uh, let me. Hack this. Oh, it's even got a control station. Nice. I like this. Uh, I need to... I need... For some reason, I need bulletproof glass. Did you take some off of this thing? Uh, nope. Bob might have done, though. Uh, it's possible. Oh, 
hope it wasn't nerfed to reduce spawn. What do you mean? Explain, Mr. Salmon. Grilled or otherwise. Okay, it, it, it is lacking a little on the way of dampers. That's why I'm wondering if we can hack the turret here and enough of the motors to be able to actually use them. I'd have to connect on for that. Play the cell of elk. Right, let's pull her around and get her back. Let me, to the let main me see stage. how much is. Ooh. We are getting that? shot to shit by something. Disconnecting. Okay. No, friend. No. This is not how we work against Boris. First of all, 3-4 on. Let's shoot you back with our turrets. And then... Wish I had the crosshair on for this. Wow, this gremlin has a lot of... Yeah, not having the crosshair the on gyro is... Authority. And I should really be using the battery timer as well. Oh well. <laughs> oh. Um, when I finally hit it, it disappeared. Yeah. Good. <laughs> there was nothing afterwards. Uh, okay, where's the gremlin gone? Where the gremlin and Tex go, for that matter. Puff the magic drone. <laughs> Live by the moon. Briefly. Uh, do you want to hook up to the uh, connector? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, have you got control? Oh, yeah. She's got enough thrust to fly her back. Uh, I don't have control of the. Ah, all right. Let me let me hook up then. I don't, I don't have a bunch of. I don't have the batteries, the assembler, and the cryo chambers. A lot of the gyros. Oh shit! I turned Bob back on. No, Bob, 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 Bob. No. Chill, Bob. Chill. Not yet. You're keen. Too keen, perhaps. I mean, I appreciate it, but you're, you're too keen. Are we in Nightingale gravity here? says, call it, call it the Roanoke. Uh, no, it's not in gravity. No, but you are slowly moving. That's what it is, Roger. It's just like in reference to yeah, you. Yeah, 1.44 meters a second. That's fine. Don't, don't move. You already hacked this connector? Uh, no. Okay, let me let me do that. <laughs> yeah, that'll probably be helpful. Uh, as would be turning off the ridiculously overpowered hydrogen thrusters that Boris has, and just trying yep. to do this on aisle. Okay, now try it. Okay, you are low. No, you are as previously. Uh, I suppose, actually, that depends on how you define low. Yes, I, I am offset by one of the directions. There you go. Bing. There you go. And lock. Lock. Nice. Right, the connected ship has taken control, so you'll have to fly with the main one, by the looks of things. Okay. Ah, that should fly back. Uh, let me activate our hydro as well. I'm afraid that that might burn, burn the, ship the cockpit. A bit, maybe. We'll be alright. Let me see what happens if. No, I don't actually have thruster control. Me neither. Just gyro. So 
you have gyro control, but nothing else, because the thrusters mm -hmm. are all on my ship. Um, is there any way you can not have control? <laughs> uh, have you set? Is that cockpit? Um, oh, hang on. Set For a second name. there, it, it gave me control. That's that's because I got out. Okay, here's here's what I'm gonna do. How about I just hop in back in Boris? Jump in Boris. A plan. Hello. Okay, now you should be able to do something. Off we go. Might With loot. Turn off those hydrogen thrusts. I think it's gonna melt at least. That's fine. Not always more power. No, I know. That's why my dampers are off and I'm not actually accelerating anymore. I'm quite happy to travel back relatively gently on this journey, to be honest. Let's find something to talk about, shall we, Text Fire? And chat. How's everyone Gordon doing? has an interesting point. He says, put Bob in walk mode and he should start at the furthest point and walk back to you. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just take it back to the station and do it all at once. Are the turrets on the station going to go ham on that thing? Possibly, Maybe. Probably. Probably. Um, if we are in drifting mode, I can go back and start hacking stuff. May need to happen. We are in drifting mode, indeed. We are con we are oh, consistent whoa, speed. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> okay. Um, why am I? Why are you not why, consistent speed? Why am, I, um, why am I flying off? I, I uh, dampers on. Or I imagine not, because you're not an idiot, so... <laughs> no, I feel like I need to I'm say just... it, but... Goodbye, Tex. It's been good. Bye. Okay, here I'm coming back. Do you want me to slow I down? I have no idea oh. what that was. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. okay. I'm alright. <laughs> just like, uh, bye. I, I went full Sandra Bullock. Never go full Sandra Bullock. Maybe that's the problem. We're not doing 60. Going too slow. You're not helping. Thanks for playing <laughs> They Are Billions. Yeah, Pokey, I, I screwed up with They Are Billions. I did not realize that today was the day it came out. I plan to start a series on the 12th of December, which is today. Or was today. It's past now, but anyway. Uh, and then when I looked today, I realized, oh shit. I screwed up there. There was supposed to be, so it's going to be tomorrow now. But anyway, yeah, there is some They Are Billions content coming. Uh, the Twitch streams have all been about trying to learn it before I did anything on YouTube. Let's just, uh, we'll, we'll hold off out, outside of gun distance and we can go fly over and disable the turrets. That'll be God, the easiest it an artificial grab generator. It does. Oh, that's what it was. I got out and I was immediately in the gravity field of that thing. Now, is there any way I can persuade you to use your magical suit powers to fly on ahead of the ship and make sure that that base up ahead doesn't tear it apart as we arrive? Hmm, depends how much... Uh, yeah, I've got O2. How much land so, sure. have got to offer? <laughs> Two strips. Okay. Uh, magical or suit powers, huh? Magical suit powers activate. You should be able to if you point yourself right with the dampers off. Just launch yourself at it and then slow yourself down at the far end. Old Cat is suggesting that we should name the new ship Natasha. Yeah, this is almost appropriate to go alongside Boris. Uh, mm. But, but at the same time having the like the big destroyer one being Natasha also seems a little wrong hmm surely that one should be Blofeld oh come on <laughs> <laughs> Blofeld is one of the most unlikely villains I know <laughs> I mean there's a reason why Austin Powers was basically one big Blofeld Parody. Like Rose. Piss -take. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, three point. Oh, is that something about my thing? It was the. Uh, it was a gremlin. 
why not remote control our station? That's not a bad plan. Uh, because we do not have long enough antenna range, I don't think. Oh, we do now. We're on Boris. Fine. I'm here. Um. Um. Actually, for some reason, I'm... I can also remote control the is there barrier mod for a utility shuttle. On this one? Did you ever put a, like, a cockpit on the station or no? Uh, probably not. Okay, turret are, turrets are off. Good, I am incoming. Will the gravity gem pull the other ships towards it? No, because they need no. to have a artificial mass on them for that to happen. I feel like we could get a fairly efficient salvage operation on the go, to be honest. Can you come a little more towards me? Yeah, I just didn't want to... Approach. You understand how I just... Fly, fly right over my head, please. Dude. I was trying this to avoid colliding with the station. Yeah, but this is an awesome screenshot. Okay. okay. You're really asking quite a lot. You understand I am tugging <laughs> like a large ship behind me. I can barely turn for fuck's sake. <laughs> fly right over me. Fly, get, yeah, get, get real close. Get real close. You're one of those annoying you're, photographers out the bit. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a fine pilot when you haven't spilled a beer. Trust, me. I trust you. Oh, for fuck's sake. You can't do that. That's not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair in the slightest. Why? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> oh shit! I'm being shot oh. now. What are you being shot by? By another one of those shithead drones. Oh god, bless. Okay. Stopped. Just, uh, just cut loose. Cutting loose. I, c I can come and get it with the jump drive. And then all of a sudden I have a massive power issue. I'm using 100% power the whole time. What has happened is it's done something stupid with the batteries in Boris, hasn't it? No. What the fuck? Why have I now suddenly got no power? Is it is it nabbed all my uranium? It may have nabbed all my uranium. No, it hasn't even nabbed all my uranium. My my thrusters just are no longer working. There we go. And now all of a sudden, power usage has jumped to. What is wrong with you, weird game? All right, fine. And my hydrogen thrusters no longer work either. Even though I've quite clearly got ice in the system. Tex, there's something wrong. Yep. Not, not on my end, but. Uh, Tex, yeah. Tex, Tex, bugs have been found. Uh, the dampers are not working anymore either. But and now I'm being shot to shit by. You do not want to do this, stupid drone. Just cut loose. Just cut loose. I am loose. Okay. Well, oh, I'm gonna go grab I the may husky. have blown the front end off, Boris. Um blowing up the drone that wanted to grind my face. It is kind of beautiful watching the parts of the drone that was trying to grind my face now collapse around the front end of Boris, but yes, Boris is now missing his front cockpit. Hmm, Roger. That, that front cockpit's not doing well today, to be honest. Wonders when chat will catch up to the point where, yes, my batteries have power, and yes, I have uranium. There is uranium in the ship. And look, look, here is the uranium. See this? Uranium. Uh, and yes, my batteries also have power. Okay, these batteries actually now do not have power. I will give you that. However, where did I put the projector? Warning projection out of bounds. What on earth? Oh, um, this thing's drifting. That was a blueprint I took earlier when doing the screenshot 
for this base. So that's interesting. Let's turn the build the build and repair is off. Good. Keep projection on. You know, this temp drive really kind of definitely feels like a space tug. That's kind of appropriate, though. Like, maybe that's a future design direction for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, no. That is actually already lined up perfectly. Having put all the stuff on the bars, I thought it was backwards. It's not. It clearly had that blueprint loaded up originally, and for some reason it switched to the most recent blueprint I've taken. I don't know why it would do that, but yes. So in theory... Uh, ooh, okay. The connector is actually lined up, and it is not connecting. Now I'm trying to do this back. Okay, and connect. And dampen. Autopilot enabled. Stupid game. <laughs> there isn't a remote control on this ship. There isn't any autopilot. I, I still haven't worked out what causes this one. The ship is actually fighting me. The uh, the husky. I can't even control this one because autopilot enabled. Oh wow, that is an old blueprint as well. That really old. Well, the nice thing is after you get the front put back on it, you can just make a new blueprint. Alright, this one is incorrectly positioned. So the the moon base, I mean the the orbital station is called uh, Fed Antenna 3, right? Not actually named. Yeah. Not that I placed that, but yeah. How are you doing over there? You need help? Just trying to make sure I've got this blueprint lined up correctly. making a pretty ham job of it, to be fair. Not helped by the fact that I can't see for shit. It's so dark. Oh, that's not right. It needs to go one up one further. All right, screw it. Cheap time. Yeah, in the end, unfortunately, as far as I understand it, the only way to fix the autopilot bug is to reload the world. So I'm going to take a save and load up Mr. Uh, Farrell's. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't do it yet. No, I'm not going to. 
don't worry. This is okay. this is part of why I'm saying this, Mr. Dexbar. Don't okay. you worry. Okay. I am not the sort of man to just suddenly drop a reload on your face without warning you. <laughs> that would be that would be unfair. Especially since this ship is moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to be able to come and help, but unfortunately, this ship isn't moving because I can't control it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and now the, the sim speed's gone to shit. Whoop, whoop. 1.56. 1.56? Ah, right. Sorry. I, I, it hasn't gone to shit. It, we're, we're actually in the future. I just didn't realize it. That would explain everything. What happens if I make this the main cockpit? Can I can I cheat it out that way? I can't make this main cockpit. Grats. <laughs> oh, there's just so many weird ass bugs in this game. I don't understand how they manage it. Hey, I fixed it. I fixed it. Did you? Only because we've got uh, multiple cockpits on it. But yeah, I can now fly. I'm coming. Good. I'm I'm at the station. With sort the husky. Of. I will admit, I do have some. Uh, uh, what, what would you What would you call it? Um, power problems, I guess. Yeah, That's what's probably the how you would call it? I, I uh, the the problem is that the batteries are not properly charged. I see. And I'm, I was surprised by how they suddenly went from fine to ditch. Like I've got 90 days and then three seconds, depending on whether oh. I damper or not. <laughs> uh, Bob, what are you doing here? Turn off boob. Boob is off. Uh, Bob is off. Well, Bob right. wasn't off on the station. Right, exponent. Boob is off. Is it still moving or have you rescued it? No, I'm, I've rescued it. Yay, Tex. He's a capable fella, is the old Tex fire. When he doesn't fall out of space. Amongst other things, yeah. I have returned okay, it. How do, how do I get into this gremlin? Oh, there we go. The door. I should probably try the door. Through the... It's madness. Pure madness. Madness. Why are we keeping the gremlin, or are we? No, we can... I want to get inside. Oh, it's got scrolling text on the screen inside. Look at it. It's like being all posh. Oh, and it's got another med station and everything. Yeah, we're gonna get some good parts off of this. It's also got artificial gravity, so if you want to press X. Although I, 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 having pressed X, either the entire station is moving, or like I am. Um, it's it's jittering. Like at point zero zero something. No, for me the entire thing is sort of going off at a sort of a, a speed off in that direction. Oh yeah. Really? I mean, it is away from the planet. No, it's towards the moon. Oh. Um. um well, it's not within gravity. Uh, shall we tear it apart? I can't help but feel like this is a good opportunity. To, to mutilate and destroy. Okay, so turn off the neutral blocks and we'll we'll selectively pink blocks. Actually, what? I can do that now. Selectively? Yep. Yeah. But because we don't want parts of it flying off too soon, too quickly. Right? Now you can't paint blocks and blocks that you don't own. So oh, our yeah. only option is to let it just assemble it because it's not an owned block. You know what? Just do it, Bob. Bob. Go ahead. You want to turn him Boris Bob on too? I'm going to go and do it. Yep. I got him. Texas got it covered. Come on. Kill it. Kill it good. Ah, he's off. He's off. Okay, so my proposal here 
yeah. is that I take a save, a nice fresh one. Yes. Even even as a like a new one, I jump into a ship. You jump into a ship. Some place that we've got oxygen, and then I yeah, play Mr. Farrell's video while this dissembles. Okay, sounds like a plan. Because it looks like it's gonna take itself apart quite nicely at this point. It'll take a while. Yep. And it's gonna but take a little yes. while for Bob to digest. Okay, sounds like a plan. Barrel ho! This video, this video, this cockpit does not have oxygen. <laughs> okay. Tex has stolen that cockpit. Let's find another one that does have oxygen. There's got to be one around here somewhere. <laughs> Don't think there is. Maybe it does have oxygen. It wasn't dropping. Yeah, um, it well, or that'll solve things. Or what? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> um, I, I may a little did you bit collide? have collided with one of the ships up there to the point where I killed myself. Yes, a little bit. Um, okay, I don't see your... Uh, it will have been going off at some relatively high velocity. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's okay. how come I killed myself, you see? Wait, how did I die? Because Tame and A, you can accelerate quite quickly in space with your jetpack, and it's quite easy to forget. Spot. <laughs> 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 We've broken text. Officially, oh, text fire is broken. Good, 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 good. Oh shit! <laughs> Tonight, the role of Wedge will be played by Wasted Space. It's all right. I've, I've, I've got like. 2,600 hours in this game. <laughs> completely know what I'm doing. It's fine. Everything's fine here. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, Farrell's video. <laughs> Does make a, a pretty picture. But I will leave you with a bit of Farrell. <laughs> While I go and fresh a fresh drink, kick the cat oh, out Bob of the Bob probably got that stuff, to be honest. Yep, Death Gun has a good point. Bob probably grabbed it as the corpse was flying away. Bob for the win. He is, he is a active member of the team. <laughs> right. Back in a moment. Hello Internet, I'm Farrell, and here is the Space Engineers update parody for November 30th and December 7th, 2017. My apologies for the lack of a new video last week, but frankly the update log for November 30th was pretty underwhelming as far as content goes. That week's update reintroduced our old friend the Rotor Lock, updated to work with the new physics update, and that was a more welcome sight than may have never been seen before in Space Engineers, even if it means Rexar had to eat his own words. Also included was a bug fix for problems causing wheels to drop off on placement and steering angles defaulting to really absurd settings on pasting or placing into the world, and at long last, particle effects for things on moving objects such as Gatling gun smoke or damage fire will no longer get stuck hovering in the world. That update also included a fix for attempting to take screenshots the highest multiplier crashing the game by not actually taking a screenshot, unfortunately. Also, we saw possibly the best entry for most unusual bug of the year, blueprints being pasted into other grids having no synchronization, or to put it in plain English, terminal settings and inventories in those pasted grids would be fine on the client, but not on the server. Or at least it was a candidate until this week's update, when somehow the game began triggering the Windows error sound every time you pressed escape or tab in the game. In a game where you literally cannot get out of the game without pressing either of those keys. How did this get past QA? Fortunately, the rest of that week's updates were also relatively in the same kind of mundane bug fixes. Like fixing crashes being caused by Steam sending duplicate data, fixing a block preview offset reintroduced to the game somewhat similar to one patched a while ago, a few issues with laser antennas and gravity, and... skin fixes? Really? Does that make you feel that your money was well spent on there, huh? But that's okay, because again, we were asked to kindly submit reviews for Space Engineers, both good and negative, on Steam. By using a link to buy on Steam in an update log primarily targeted at people who already own the game. Can't help but feel there's got to be a better way to link someone to submit reviews rather than with a buy now link. 
Though that said, one topic discussed in a most recent update log thread was whether Keen should introduce a currency system in game, which has been much more interesting to read than the personal slander going on the previous week, with some interesting points being made on the for and against sides of the argument. So on that note, here is this week's quote. Yeah, I need to um, figure out a better way of handling what happens when this happens. That's something that I need to just generally work on, I think. Yeah, well, the question is, how much is left of the ship? Well, tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. Figured I would uh, slap down a med station. I love how Bob takes it apart from the front back. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's like away from the point at which it's still connected on. Oh, well, of course it does. Yeah, sorry for that, guys. I need to... The, the one thing that I wish OBS had was some method of uh, video playlisting so that I could have something set up after that stuff finished so that if my quick trip out of the room to go and generally usher cats around the place and fetch myself a fresh drink takes a bit longer than the video does, uh, it doesn't just go, Aha, and here's black. Enjoy. So, I kind of want to take apart both of these large ships as well. Is it time yeah, to just paint I, it pink? I do too. Um, hang on one second. Sorry, I'm in the middle of making you a spawn point so you don't have to. So you can just spawn up here. Ah, oh, Sir Dusa, I feel you so hard on the locate and evict little friend. Like, the problem, we've got four cats in this house, and there's a dog as well. And the two of the cats don't like each other. Like, they're in, they're in pairs. There's my two cats and there's my brother's two cats. They don't like each other. My brother's two cats are indoor cats. They're, to be honest, a bit thick. Uh, and so, yeah. They, they're they not really responsible for catching critters. Uh, but what they do do is generally sort of hang around in areas to try and hassle my cats at times. And so you end up with these confrontations all the time. And then there's a dog as well. This does not stop the fact that my cats are still capable of bringing like critters up to the top floor of the house. And then the little crap heads don't kill them. They don't, they don't, they bring them up here and they don't even finish them off. They know they bring them up here live and then they let them go. So you just found like, oh good, there's a mouse nest on the third floor of a house. Now this is a house where the stairs like, the stairs don't have backs to them, so you've got mm. flat platforms. So there's no backs. So 
No mouse is climbing their own way up these stairs. No, they're brought up in the mouth of a kitty. A mouth of a crap kitty that doesn't even finish the job when they bring them up, so I just get nests of mice hanging around the place. It's like, cheers, animal. Thank you very much. It was just what I was after. Right, so I, I'm, I'm replacing, to be fair, the uh, shack and wasted turrets with some okay. turrets that are... So, I've got an issue here. Less huge um, and ugly. I don't have any oxygen, apparently. Well, that that would be a problem. Boris is your yeah. your answer. Yeah, he has ice. Uh, you may need to do a bit of um. Yeah, no, he ha he has ice, but uh, even the apparently I'm just gonna die because I'm not gonna be able to move ice over fast enough. I actually hopped in the cockpit with Boris, and no, no go. For some reason, it's not hooked up or it's working. It's not plumbed anymore. Like something's yeah, not so. lined up correctly. I don't know no, why. He just died. Good night, Dexwire. Does that mean we have to take the blooming prawn up <laughs> to the nope, top to recover? Because, uh, oh, you got because the while, while I may, while I may have actually done myself <laughs> in like that, I, I did actually set up a spawn point before I did. Immortality, ho! This clone hopefully will do better than the last clone. Is all I gotta say. Maybe we ought to figure out why the hell we're not getting oxygen in these turrets, in these cockpits, from Boris. Now I've forgotten There's what absolutely I was... no reason why it shouldn't be. Oh. Except for apparently they're not plumbed, so maybe something that broke that when you fixed it, they're not plumbed anymore? Uh... Mm. I this guy. don't know. That's not promising. The first build state for the turret that I put down is... <laughs> it's just a pink cube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not sure, not sure about that one. That one looks like it's designed to fit in a certain way, and this is not it. Like the base is all out of alignment. Thank you. Looks cool. Like the actual model itself, I really like, but it's kind of why like that base is as it is. I don't know. Like they're all going to be like this? Oh, the, I, I think they might be designed right to be sunk in. Yeah, they're kind of designed to be sunk into the hull a bit. By the looks of things. What is... Oh. I thought you were talking to me. Never mind. <laughs> You're busy greebling. Let's see how it is. You got I'm, me up here I'm, to I'm, do all the work while you get a chance to greeble. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, in fact, it's almost like you could combine these with the half height blocks and they'd look awesome. Which is kind of cool. Mm. Like, almost like the base is designed to be greebled in around half height blocks to make them really low profile. Oh, hey, I figured out part of our problem. Uh, one of the reactors is out of uh, uranium. The other one, however, is not. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's actually kind of cool. That's a really interesting approach. I've not seen that done before. So it means that if you wanted, you could really slim down. I mean, this design was never really intended for this. 
like and and obviously I'm just slapping these down as a demonstration that like, we could replace these and actually make them look a bit better I think like burying them in one layer deeper but that's a really interesting way of doing it like intentionally building the base designed to be wrapped in rather than stick on top Checking this one out primarily because this is uh, a mod made by one of our Discord community goers, Mr. Krieg. Much like the, um, it, it's always it's always cool seeing like guys who are active in the Discord community and chatting about this stuff, and then like they actually release what they've been working on and talking about, and then it does well, and people are like really getting involved with it, and getting excited about it, just like that um, the bubble cockpit as well, the space bar did. Like that, that had been like the, the the whole development of that had been well documented in <laughs> Discord over the over the creation of it. As, yeah, as it's fun say, to watch of, the creative process there. Sort of chat through Watching it and them. check out with people like so so any feedback on this design and people are giving some input some sort of their thoughts on it and so on and then you see the next iteration again and Okay, these don't seem to have a particularly good um yeah some, someone needs to help mr krieg with his texture and the looks of things this is his main issue at the moment oh no they've lit up now that oh, this looks a bit better now they're in position that is and, one thing i've noticed with se mods is that uh, you get some really interesting functional blocks but you can tell when they've done a number of mods because the texturing gets really good mm -hmm. it's sort of you can that's kind of how i can always pick out a digi mod or something like that without even watching yeah. seeing who's the name is on it just because like oh nope this or, is a style like a, for these turrets or like a sec 10 you know you can pick a sec 10 mod out of the lineup without much thought mm -hmm. Because these turrets like as an aesthetic, as, an, as, as a design, they look really cool. Uh, but, I mean, almost the wrong way around as far as, like, why would you hang them um, down? Sure I could use some help up here. Up. You could use some help up here. Yeah. Because there's a fine gentleman who's saying, hi, I'm here to help, please don't attack. Ah. Ah. And I don't remember what those do other than sometimes explode. Can I now not remember the empty inventory into container? Wasn't it all right click to empty your inventory in? Oh, it's with a block out. Idiot. Goodbye, cruel world. Coming text. Thank you. dark up here. Uh, do we have any uh, okay, so power what's cells? The, what's the issue? Um, I just When one of those drones shows up, generally I find other drones follow pretty quickly. Uh, I see it. Wasn't that the one that calls other drones? Boris is in action. Uh, I have not fixed the oxygen problem with Boris, just FYI. Been grinding off pieces that are all. It's alright, I've only just spawned. Everything will be fine, Ted. Wasted's here. No, no. Um, not, not quite where, the angle I was going from. Where? I was more going from the it? angle of <laughs> guns. Uh, I'm liking that uh, that whole mindset, though. Scope EVA or Scope Eva. I don't know which way around you want to pronounce that name, but yeah, it's saying, "Damn, this place is really starting to look like a junkyard." And yeah, I think that's actually maybe our really next is. step is to build a space junkyard. You know. Like a place that we can properly dismantle these ships. 
as soon as your destroyer is up and running, we're going to start being able to take these things apart pretty hard. Mm-hmm. People are reminding me that, that I, I was somewhat disappointed at the lack of my crosshair. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be cheaty here. Right. Come on, Monta. Where's the little thing? In a place that I'm struggling to reach. Good to know. Let's oh, have on. a crosshair in green. Uh, right. Now, if I turn the space engineers. So, new monitor I've got has got a really stupid extra feature that, uh, that I can't help but feel like just has a benefit purely from the angle of recording, which is that you can manually stick via the monitors on screen software a crosshair on the screen that doesn't show up to recording stuff but is still there if you know what I mean so yeah I, I just know that's that to me sounded like it could potentially be quite cool for these sort of scenarios it's a bit on the it's a bit on the haxy side I can't help but feel It does mean that I now have a crosshair lined up. It took me a little while, but I now have a crosshair lined up perfectly with the Space Engineers one. So I can turn the Space Engineers one off, and then you guys won't see it, but I can. <laughs> it's showing. No, it's not. So then, how do we approach Mr. Please Don't Attack? I've heard that if when you press the button, there are two options. Either it summons drones, or it spits out goodies. So. On the basis that if it summons drones, I'll blow them up. And if it spits out goodies, I'll take them. Hello, waifu. How you been? I've been a little while. You gonna be good to me today? Come on. No! She's not happy! Run! When she's not happy, she blows up. System error, CPU overload. Not oh, good. But I almost had it. Only almost answer. It. They all they all blew each other up before they even reached her. Okay. I need to get my timer. Where's my timer lock? He's not named? Oh no, they're up here. There we go. Moving in. Uh, do you have a landing gear on that thing that you could grab this with? Yeah. Are you close? No. I can be back in a second though. You just need to uh, execute a certain something. Really? Okay, so when zoomed in with the camera, it just doesn't line up. Basically. No, it's crazy inaccurate. Oh, shit. Okay, these cannons are not very good at hitting something that small. Mm. 
Yeah, the, when I'm close enough to actually target it properly, they go either side of it. I've lost the face cannons. Oh well, she's done. Coming, Tex. Apologies for the delay. There was a waifu that was giving me trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you understand. It would help if I could see this stupid connector. Uh, trying to line this shit. No shirt. rage here. No rage at all. No. no rage. Everything the is non -rage fine. non-rage stream, apparently. Off. It's a very chilled stream. I don't proof. We can fix that. Mostly by the fact that I'm at 100% power usage, apparently. I've, I've, I've got to that point again where, like, for some reason... I've used enough power that I got need em. to turn the shield got it. off. Oh, okay. Well, that was fun. I I'm fun, slowing I mean, down. Not really fun at all. I have ice, but I guess I run out of power to run the oxygen generators for this, right? I don't know. Trying to catch a uh, tumbling cargo container with a connector mm -hmm. was a little challenging. <laughs> oh, I'm sad I missed that. Yeah, you really should have seen you that. Even that, me that, as that, well. that you even warned me. You even tried video. to summon me. No, I'm sad. I'm I, sad I, I, I tried. missed that. That large container had broken loose, so I was like, well, I'll just put a connector on it, and then that led to, oh, well, it needs power, so I'll put a battery in. Oh, we don't have power cells, so I'll put a solar cell on it. Okay, great. Then I bumped it trying to connect to it and had to chase it across about 300 meters. All I was missing was a like a Charlie Chaplin or Buster Keaton soundtrack. <laughs> I finally figured what this thing is. It's Wedgie's satellite. Wow, that was really slow on the uptake on that. How are we doing there, Mr. Wasted? Some reason my hydrogen thrust is not turning on. I can't I can't figure out what it is, but We've got power, we've got, like, they're, they're on, there's fuel for them, we've got oxygen generators, there's a hydrogen tank, and yet, and yet, fuck you, is the overall opinion being offered thus far. Hydrogen tank's small, but it's full, it's full, it's on. Oh, sometimes I definitely wish the stream could see my POV. We right still need to figure am, that out. Oh, if I turn the I, entire I ship a, on and off, I get my hydrogen. Right now, I am. A, I was chasing a bobbing connector that was yo-yoing back and forth between where it had been gr partly ground off. As you know, reasons. Well, I think Bob has actually done a pretty good job on this thing, to be honest. I'm not seeing a lot of the ship left. Sorry, if I turn my hydrogen thrusters on and off, I get some of my hydrogen thrusters back, is what I should say. Yeah, Th you, this you've may got some, be a group problem. You, you've got some, well, you've got some disconnected connectors problem. Probably from the damage you took that knocked the front. Ours is up. It knocked the uh, the front cockpit off. I'm guessing. Mm. 
yeah, I need to. I do need to. We've talked about this with text before. Like, figure out a way of getting his perspective like streamed through. Um, and and it talked is about that a long time ago. It is doable. YouTube multi-stream, but it is tough. Uh, the YouTube multi-stream is one way of doing it. The, the 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 concern with the YouTube multi-stream is it doesn't transfer at all to vods. Ah, okay. So. There's, you know, there's no way of, like, getting a VOD out of it like you would do with a normal stream. Uh, I feel like um, we should take apart the other large ship now. To, yeah, I think so, too. Let me make sure we've got so ice. So let, let's empty it out. Can we put some ice in the station, and that way we'll be able to fill up well, off of this? I think uh, there's uranium and ice on there as well. So, And if there's not, grab some ice out of Boris. We finish up this med station here. There's so much scrap metal in this. Ridiculous. That's, that's everything left in here now is just scrap metal. So I'm actually just going to call that whatever. And go... Pink. Uh, if you could, I'm not, I'm getting, I'm not critical yet on oxygen, but I am. Can low. you not grab it? All right, I'll, I'll do it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna not. try and if you can grab the oxygen, I'm setting up a med station. I got. Uh, wh where do you want the? You've got an oxygen generator on. Uh, no, uh, space station. The station's got a generator. Okay. I, I will load that so. up with. It should probably it should. Does, do. if does it, it doesn't? Not? Then we're a fucking idiot. If it doesn't, then we'll just put one on it. It does. It does. Okay. It does. It's on. It's fueled. Okay. So. And now we have a uh, medical room, which is ah, filling up our oxygen. Yeah. There you go. We have a, also we have a red target coming in, the clinging gremlin, and uh, There's a barnacle a drone. Barnacle, barnacle drone. Barnacle drone. Okay. Preparing to repel borders. Um, I might have accidentally collided a little bit. Okay, well, I'm either going to die gloriously. Oh, and I did. <laughs> I hit it. I didn't hit it quite the way I intended, but... Weird to see one of those alone. Oh man, we definitely need no, to name these rocket just bomb, flew past these me. medical rooms. I'm back on the asteroid. Hmm. I'm losing faith consistently with these. Uh, the batteries are only good for sh taking out large ships. If, if it's tiny, then you can't deal with it. Okay, I'm back. Darn it, lost my favorite roll there again. Oh well. Lost your favorite welder. <laughs> Only Tex would have a favorite welder. Really? Nobody else has a favorite welder? You're not playing this game right. What's it called? Um. Oh, name? Are you trying to tell me that your favorite welder doesn't have a name? Uh, it's uh, OSCAR. It also has a second name. M E Y E R. Yeah, I love the fact that the hydrogen thrusters that aren't in the hydrogen group, turn them on and off, are the ones that are also the hidden ones. What the fuck? He's trying to trying to mess me over here now. <laughs> I don't I don't think that was you. I think that's that's probably a byproduct of the fact that the group was remade. 
and, and you'd, you'd made the group and then hidden the blocks and then when it was remade and, the hidden blocks weren't included in it and didn't you just uh, re, re, uh, re blueprint it too after it took the damage uh, no I will now it's taken the damage but it's not missing no it's fully rebuilt now actually so yeah that was a sensible blueprint Alright, Boris is in place and taking stuff apart. What's next? Uh, I think we are almost done. I believe the Husky is gone, is it not? Mostly, yeah. Most of most of it? Almost, almost all. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Um, I think we've got enough uh, oomph with Boris that we could hook on to this... Uh, we could hook this large... Uh, cargo the container onto it. and take it down as yep. long as we've got hydrogen down. for it. Yeah. I have a fa favorite welder named Riddick. <laughs> Why Riddick? Rather well, than Riddick. Seems a bit odd. But okay. I like that there's a mix of grinding and also repairing of Boris going on. Like, there's stuff going going all over the place <laughs> little beams of of crap yeah boris is boris uh, a little bit closer a little schizophrenic right now um, why is part of the station pink that's my question uh not me no i haven't been painting this stuff pink Cats, I will deploy my fleet of barnacle drones. I know it's not you, old cat, because they don't spell barnacle that way. <laughs> well, that'll do it. Been thinking fast enough, I would have said my the name of my favorite welder is Charlene. <laughs> nice. But. but I didn't, so alas. It's not too bad. I could do that. This was easier with my favorite grinder, too. <laughs> These vanilla ones are so damn slow. When you say your favorite grinder, you just mean, like, I had an upgraded grinder, and now I hate you all for taking it away from me. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, Mr. Dex. It's fine. Well, if I didn't hate the uh, vanilla mic grinders quite so much, I wouldn't care, but I do. So I do. Because Bob has utterly spoiled me at this point. Don't lie to us, wasted. We watch you paint your paint. Shh. Don't tell Dex. Oh, hey. We had panels for that. Thank you very much. Well, we have one here. It's just like... <laughs> in space. Because, you know, why not? Ah, that probably doesn't help. What doesn't help? The fact that the um, our, our satellite station is con uh, has got a whole bunch of them like racked up, ready to build, and has been continually trying to build solar panels for ages. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Uh, do we have any um, uh, uranium? Uh, should be some in some of the ships, yeah. There we go. Perfect. I'll take a little out of you. That way I can take this panel off of this uh, nuclear, off of this um, container so you don't have to worry about the connector letting go. Oh, and you just took the, you already took the solar panel off of it, so good thing that happened. <laughs> it was in the wrong place. Okay, well, you don't need it now because it has a reactor. Yeah, but I, I, I wanted them on there anyway because why not when this is just going to be in a constant plate to, place to like, potentially be able to benefit from sitting around and just harvesting some, some of its own power, you know? No, no, no. I was, I had a, I had a solar panel on the cargo container so that it had power enough to power the connectors. Yes, and I'm thinking that Boris could just do with having some passive solar generation regardless. Basically. Okay. Helps if he doesn't place, if you don't place it down pink. It's worth noting. Hmm. It does. It's true. What are you doing? Oh shit! Barnacle drone! Barnacle drone! Barnacle drone! Shoot it, please! Kill it before it destroys the station. Are you are you muted? Shooting is not the answer. I'm working on. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, jeez. <sighs> well, that Hang was on. exciting. Something called a phantom not far off. Okay. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the turrets back on. Yeah, I think we've ground down everything that might be questionable. Wow, that was uh, all of a sudden. I was like, "What is bumping me?" They um, do sneak in really fucking well. It's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. I think this is mostly done. I might go after the Phantom. Yeah, or the go Gremlin, ahead. Or the other Gremlin XL. The Gremlin XLs are quite easy to approach. I mean, if you want to come with me, and we're going just. Grab another uh, set I'm going to continue getting all the inventory in this car container so that I'm ready when you get back. All right. I sound? will go and try and grab one of our two targets then. Let's pick between. Only because I want to be able to maneuver this station around a little bit if we have to. Let's aim for the Phantom to begin with. tonight, isn't it? Weren't we talking about how uh, we weren't really getting molested? Yeah, much? yeah, yeah. Somebody even said in yeah. chat early on, I blame uh, whoever that was, it's your fault. 
You said it. It's not sketchy, it's bad. Different things. I don't know why they keep showing up, but tonight is is bot night. That's tonight, a fair point. On group survival, bot night. Someone thankfully reminded me that I turned the shields off on Boris earlier. Oh. <clears throat> wow, that would have been something. That would have been a bit of a, a bit of a quandary. I would have had to fight quite hard to explain away that one. The new song from Hit. The new Hit song from They Might Be Text Fire. Barnacle Drone. Barnacle, barnacle drone, drone, Barnacle Drone. Barnacle clinging. Drone. Oh. Clinging to my ship like I, it, it's alone. But it's not, it's got a friend. Phantom drone. He had his own mind. Phantom drone, phantom drone. He's a friend for barnacle drone. He doesn't explode like barnacle does. Phantom drone. Does he shoot or does he run? Will Wasted die or will he run? That is a good question at this point, Mr. Textfire. So far, I have not seen any turrets on the target. However, the target is still 2k out. So. Oh, Farrell came up with better drones, I think. I like his. That's better. what I'm saying. Far Farrell actually had lines. That's the, that's the comment I noticed. It was like, wow, he'd done his own. But he started some stuff off. So, hey, inspiration. Barnacle drone, barnacle drone, clings on things wherever it goes, starts the clock, blows right up, annoying drone, barnacle drone. Yeah, I got one turret on the rear, but it's things. Per oxide. Unlock. Okay, I am. I have a full cargo container. Okay, so solo turret on this, it seems, on the base. Can I potentially approach this from an angle where I can avoid it? Can I maybe hang at a distance where I can get the, the guns to behave? Remove. Line jump. 35 kilometers. Okay. No, it's Worst not. Worst case scenario. Territory. It's a gallant. If I have to, I'll, I can jump out of, out of the way. Protect our stuff. Have a build bot on the jump drive. Yes or no? Uh, I don't know. Nope, we don't, but maybe we should. You knew that they might be giants is actually one of my favorite bands from the 80s. Very interesting. No, no. Tarrant's turn off. We're good. Thank you. And that is an excellent choice, sir. Well done. 
Nice. Alright, I does look like I've managed to recover the phantom basically completely intact. What is it? Oh, that's interesting looking. I I I, I took out the one that turret is, that it has. That is bigger than I expected it to be. She's pretty sexy. It looks like a massive TIE fighter. Basically, it looks like a TIE advanced, but like large so That's a large scale. grid? Yeah. Neo Seth with uh, the R's. I, uh, R's are... I have no idea. They're R's. Takes fire sings, I throw money. Even if it's a weird song, mix of country and Spidey song from the 70s, 80s. Yes, uh, I, I did realize that was probably supposed to be Spider Pig, uh, but... Hey, we are, we are, oh shit, Bob, 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 no, 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 Bob, chill, chill, leave, leave the ship really? alone. Hmm, okay. Let's just stop the ship. This, this is ours, we've got ourselves like an intact large ship, a complete intact large ship. Let's just drive it home. Are we? Indeed, that's what I'm thinking. It's like this one we've I've captured basically intact. We need to make this our own and retrofit it because it looks like it's set up for like weapons on. Yeah, it's it's set up as like a a fighter with like rocket launchers on the front and only one turret, oh, cool. and that's why I kind of could just walk all over it, you know. Oh, it was all Particle Man and not Spider Pig. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's say that, that that was all Particle Man. To be honest, I should probably get aboard this and actually hack it so that I can control it properly rather than... Trying to drag it back against its own will. Especially as at the moment it's moving against its own will regardless. Yeah, it's desperately trying to fight me, basically. Right, let's get aboard this thing and deal with... I made some holes somewhere already to use those. Let's not break it any further. Ah, there we go. That's not very helpful. It doesn't actually take me inside, does it? Oh, it looks like a cool ship as well. Look at this thing. This is awesome. Yeah, I want to see it. Access denied? I think not. Uh, good job, boys. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I switched my drill instant of my welder. <laughs> so, have, my attempt to hack the block basically consisted of... Uh, Grind it a little bit and then drill the thing until it's gone. And there we go. Hacked! <laughs> Hacked, motherfuckers! <laughs> uh, I came inside and there's an interior turret on the floor. Like, as I said, oh, interior like, turret. I guess I can kill you. Oh, they're Argentinian turret. pesos. like it's been shot off already by wasted make sure the build system is off at base yeah i will do why. before i fly back oh yeah i'll, I'll turn off the turrets and the i just team. wanted to hack this thing because it's uh it's being a pain in the ass at the moment from the bases that it's trying to fight against me whereas if i get up here and take control of ye olde flight seat it might stop fighting me so much. Yeah, well, and you can turn off. You could turn off the um, internal dampeners at that point. Next level hacking with voice. Indeed, <laughs> hacker voice. I mean. <laughs> System compromised. Uh, to be I'm honest, paranoid. Uh, uh, I'm... Bob's attached, and I don't actually need to do. I, I don't need to. Oh. There's a Gremlin X right next to me. Shit. 
Oh, there's also another turret just floating off indoors. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help, to be honest. I guess I could get over there with these weapons. But the problem is it would shoot up our brand new, brand new Phantom. Yeah, I, I, I want to ditch that. How did I get into this place? Oh, there we go. Boris. Boris, you have one more task. Quick. We now own that shit. Now it's time to deal with the fact that we have intruders. Hey, friend. Um... You are big enough for the main guns, aren't you? Aren't you? Admit it. Admit it. Invites person to stream with him. Talks to <laughs> talks to drones instead. <laughs> Yeah, Gremlin XL. I only have 123 rounds left. So that's the only concern. And I have to admit... To you don't want to save those parts, huh? No, no, I don't. No, that's, that's literally what I was about to cover is actually... what At this point, I just want to blow something up. And this looks like an amazing target. Lol. Goodbye. <laughs> right, I'll take Boris in and disassemble what I can. Target that. Target that. Roger that. You know what I feel like we've been underutilizing, to be honest? The fact that we've got a jump drive capable ship here. True. True. As, as in, we could, I could jump to the Phantom, put some uh, feet on this sucker, lock into it, and jump it back into orbit. True. I don't think you can jump in a gravity well, though, can you? Well, it's not in a gravity well, is it? No, it's not. True again, oh. Mr. Tech. Sorry. Sorry. Smack that mic. Smack it hard. Smack Come on. That mic. Smack it again. It was talking. It was talking back to me. It was. It was talking dirty about your mum or something. I'm sure. Well, there's that. You know what would make this trug complete? Be another. Oh man, it's almost got a shield, but we, we're missing shield components. Oh, there's something just so awesome about. So many times you get reminded of what like space engineers could be if there was oh, yeah. just like they'd taken any sort of pick a direction. Like, you, you can almost, with this as a platform, pick a direction. Like, right now, I feel like I'm playing a bit of Freelancer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I've got, like, a scavenger drone on board that's taken apart ships that I've killed for their components just by floating nearby. Yeah, it's a modern Freelancer variant. We've got loads of enemies coming aboard and so on. And at other times, you feel like you're playing a completely different game. But it's just, again, it's just the overall opinion of, like, Please sort your shit out for a second, because you've got a gem here, and you always did have a gem here. That's the reason why it did so much better than so many of the other games that tried to compete with it. And I, I'm sure even Dual Universe is going to struggle to match like 2 million copies sold, or 2.5 million copies sold, or whatever it is that Space Engineers has got. It's around that level. And yet, instead, mostly due to a a bit of a random lack of direction we're doing it ourselves mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's, the, it's the modders we have to thank for it, not anyone else. Yeah, it's like people like Spacebar and Krieg and yeah. Faustul and Digi and There's all those others. so that are... many blooming people that are responsible for giving us this enjoyment. And and while it doesn't change, you know, Space Engineers is the platform, no question. You can't argue that a lot of it comes down to the, uh, the creativity of the modders, not necessarily like anything other than Keen's decision to support mods like they do. And even then, let's be clear, they give modders plenty trouble with doing so as well. Oh yes, bring me those lovely thruster components. Oh yeah, I'm doing it, man. I'm tearing this thing apart like a crazy thing. I love it. I've, I've, I've just gone out there, I've shot a ship, and now I've nabbed it with my landing gear, and now I'm tearing it apart. This this is a great experience, but this is a great experience that is this is a hundred percent propelled by some like really clever mods, like the build and repair system, for example, and the system that's spoiling these ships in for us and stuff like that. None of this is. It is DeForce, but it's just like Space Engineers is sort of existing in the Gary's mod territory, but without actually like owning up and admitting it. If you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. Okay, I have a full container here. But other than. Yep. I've got everything out of the station. Unless you wanted to leave some parts up here. I figure we take them all downtown. All downtown. All down to uh, the surface. And. Break down what components we need to break down and finish up that ship. How's that sound? We really oh you know what happened we uh, we managed to uh, put the ice and it used all the ice trying to fill the hydrogen tanks <laughs> as of course how are you doing there are we muted I'm having co yeah, I was muted. Uh, I'm having cargo space problems, and I'm panicking about it a fair bit. Um, do you want me to bring a card container that's much larger and we can fill it up? I think we're just losing a lot of the cargo from disassembling this at the moment. I might be wrong, but... It looks like the entire ship is full, and it's just still going and letting it float out. Well, it, to be fair... In reality, it's a bit late now. There's there's steel blocks left and nothing else, but... I'm going back to the pad. Okay. You'd imagine it stops. The captured Phantom was almost certainly still have cargo space, yeah. No, I did have still have room actually. No, people are right. And not only that, but he's using some of the stuff we've got to repair the to re repair Boris as we fly, which I approve of. <laughs> In-flight repairs, care of Bob. I'm returning to the Phantom initially, and then I'll return down to you. Good. 
I mean, other than the fact that I, I have no oxygen, but I actually have two bottles, so I'm not I'm not as bad off as I thought I would be. Do you want me to meet you at the Phantom? Are sure. you actually do you have oxygen in Boris right now? Yeah. Yeah, apparently the oxygen generator in Boris was just broken. So having now disassembled a few ships or disassembled a few ships, uh it is back and functional. So yes, okay. I have well, I have oxygen yeah. supplies, something was just wrong with it. Can you uh drop me a uh a waypoint there? I I'm almost back as soon as I am. I will do exactly that. Uh uptime currently three hours and thirty six minutes. Yeah, well we can probably finish this up and just want to recover what we've got, basically. I mean, this phantom thing looks awesome. I'm really glad I managed to capture this, like, almost ex entirely intact. You know, there's, there's almost nothing that needs repairing on it. It's just, like, says, fully built. Turn the ship. phantom into a custom bottom turret for the battleship. It does look a bit like a turret. I know, I know where that's coming from. But I, I just think you know, it doesn't hurt to have like another ship in the arsenal now. Are your turrets still on? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, okay. I think My they're off, they're, they're so off by they're off, off by default on that one. So. Okay. Well, if you can send me a waypoint, I will jump to you. Ooh, that sounds scary. Jump to me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, why not? I, I can fly to you. It's a fully functional ship. Come on, you have no sense uh, of and, adventure. And, and, and it's a fast one. I I, I know yes. I know it's lacking drama. I admit. I but then admit I can hook up. I can lack. hook this. You can hook up to Boris, empty Boris, and then be able to. But but I could do that anyway, and I could do that without potentially destroying what is a very pretty ship here. Not gonna destroy it. It's even it's even gotten like an internal hangar bay at the back that's like really well done and everything. Like, this is, that jumps this is, tug. I only have so here. much faith. Yeah, but the jump tugs for go, long distances. You're nine what k can, away. What could bro. go wrong? You're nine k away. That's Trust not me. that's not a jump tug distance. I'm not even sure you can go nine k <sighs> with a jump drive. No can, fun. Can you even go nine k with a jump drive? Yeah, you can go 5k. 5k is minimum jump distance. Okay. No, 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 never mind. Don't bother. Kill Joy. <laughs> fine. Fine. Jump into me. Jump into me. Nope. Just, nope. Just, not gonna just do it. jump on top. No, jump on top. No, no, it's a, no, you're going to make a big deal about it. It's, no, it's, it's okay. Just, just some kind of prima donna. There you go. That's right, an option. Uh, Faint of heart, never on, nay or warm. On, no, no, one you heart of maiden. No, no, you can't back away now. No, no. Where is it? Give it to me. There's a new one. I gave you a new one. You haven't sent it. I have. What is it called? Wasted Space 6. Nope. Did you put it in chat? I did. That doesn't necessarily mean it worked. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I could blind jump it. Yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> so not to be trusted. Distance. Value to set. We're gonna go 1.25. Yeah, this this is this is a nice little ship. Point zero five. Fire my way for you. Trying to manually drag this. How far are you away from me? I, I can't see. Okay, I'm coming to you. Sounds fine. Uh, we need another button panel on the outside here. I'm here. Cool. Thought of a name of the 
of the for the battleship. Be of little faith. Of course. Oh, I should probably turn off those turrets before you have a reason to have a little faith. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a thing, perhaps. <laughs> Although th this ship is now completely owned by me, so. We take that, think that thing can land? It, it's got some decent power. Uh, I'm just trying to replace the few blocks that it lost during its capture because it really didn't lose much. Um, and uh, otherwise it's in it, you know, it's quite a nice ship. Are you on the? Are you parked on the bottom of it or the top of it? I'm par parked on the bottom. I want to go and turn on Boris's build and repair now. But yeah, I'm parked on the bottom, and if you go in through the back, you can find your way through to the the front end, and Boris is securely locked in. Okay. So I can turn, I can leave, I can turn Bob back on. In theory, yeah. He, yeah, he's he's not set for neutral blocks. He's just set for enemy. Yeah, he's welding at the moment. See, yeah. I brought the nice little build and repair with all the components over to you. Well, to be fair, I, I've got a fair bit myself as well from the capture, mm -hmm. but. Uh, yeah. We are missing one ion on this other side. So we are. I shot at it. I think it's uh, it's stepped one block forward from the other. No, it's not. It, it on the other side. It's even same distance. So it, it it's again it's back against the flat plate to the back. You see what I mean, though. This is a this is a pretty ship. So take a look at this. Think about like a little tank, a little tug freighter thing. Get some more uh, ion thrusters on this sucker, and then just be able to put it like a chain of uh, containers behind it. Yeah, sorry, I'm just dealing with something. Chat has kindly informed me that those gaps on the bottom were intentional and those were actually the bottom thrusters. <laughs> that you just covered. <laughs> yeah, it's missing them at the moment. They've been shot off, but that's where they should be. Oops. Honestly, this uh, this jump drive might be our longest surviving ship, come to think of it. Probably, yeah. No, actually, it, it kind of feels un unauspicious to say it that way. Don't worry about it, Tex. Good point. No, all right. She has now. She has the correct bottom crosses, or will do. Okay. That's a pretty cool little ship. Out. So where do you enter? It needs to be one block forwards. Okay, I fucked it up. Still. Hashtag one block forward. <laughs> and then oh, it's got reasons. gravity and everything. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying we've just uh, straight up hacked ourselves like a, a free 
nice ship. A nice uh, free little uh, little ship. I like it. Like like nice single man large ship, if you know what I mean. Yep. And we could probably even uh, and it's even got room. We uh, increase this. Ooh. Um, you think it can land with the thrusters it has? Maybe. I'm just wondering because we could actually park Boris inside it if we widen this uh, bay a little bit. There we go. Thrusters are correctly positioned. Chat, you can stop freaking out now. I've put them in the right place. You're right. You're right now. Chill your butt. <laughs> She's got a pair of refineries as well. She uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty that. well equipped. Um, you know, honestly, if we had managed to uh, snag this before we'd even started on the... Uh, on the destroyer. Yeah, but y yours is going to be so much more battle-focused than this thing is, to be fair. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't have the room to be made that much, but much more battle-focused. Th this almost looks like a great support for what you're driving, because this can be manned by one per person and use those frontal rockets as the main weapon. Yeah, it will need some some shield generators, no question. Oh, Bard's in chat. All right, Bard. Big thanks. Everyone's going to give, taking, taking give our local mod, doing Mr. The Bard, all of the love. What are you doing to the back of the ship already, Tex? Come on. Now. I am making you room to, uh, if you want to fly this thing and park Boris on the back, you, there is room to put him in there now. With we the have solar three panels? Three ships and two people. No, you might have taken solar panels off. Uh, yeah, I suppose I probably should. They are making him more. Or, money. alternately, I could merge the mm. jump drive onto no, it. No, no, no. I, li I like where you're coming from. I just need to take the solar panels off. They were a pretty I mean, silly idea. Frankly, this this thing really needs a hangar bay on the back anyway. It's yeah, had a hangar for bay. It. I know, but it needs a, a, a one big enough to be functional. How about that? <laughs> We're not going to fit Boris in that little tinky hangar bay. Honestly, if I had a little, con if I had a convincing uh, um, Team Fortress 2 heavy voice, that's what mm -hmm. I'd be doing right then. Boris at the moment is quite heavy. It's worth noting. Okay, here, I'll uh, add you in. Okay, uh, pitch, pitch up. Pitch up, stop. Okay, right there, come straight back. Down, down, a, down a hair. Stop, up, up, there you go. Back, straight back. Straight back. You can come a little to your left, slide to the left. Stop, come straight back. Back some more, or can you go back anymore? Nope. Okay, that's what you got. So lock it. Uh, it's not on the bar. Two six. M sorry, my my connector got removed. Uh, my cockpit got got removed. So I. Uh... Oh, finally we've got a lock and you know unlock what I could do? option. I could actually connector. put a connector there for it too, yeah. if you want. Let me do that. Uh, that that's oh, sorry. That's what I was assuming you were you were expecting. But yeah, we have a um, a uh, am I connected? I don't think I am. No, you're not. Yeah, we now have a option in the connector to just straight lock and unlock rather than just switch lock as the only option. So you can have a forced one for timers. That's quite nice. Okay, um, come on back, come down, 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 stop, back, come to the right a little bit, okay, you're lined up, and lock connector. I'm in, oh, yeah. Okay, done. 
Nice. You're you're connected, but you're that, not. That actually them looks. If you come out of the back and have a look at how it looks, that looks kind that of looks evil. Looks great. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> it looks really kind of evil. You just just poking out of the, the back. Uh, the docking bay to, to extend far enough to let you lock down, but yeah. You know what I mean? Or maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe even don't. Maybe even just build it around and move the the, the the air seal inwards, so that it's behind the ship, so that this permanently hangs outside at the back. Because that actually looks quite cool. Right? Should we fly her home and end there? Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna map Boris's thrusters. Have you got uh, what's happening with the jump drive module? Uh, it's good. Again. So the jump drive module um, is has a cargo container on the back of it. We're going to have to take that down some other way, or we're going to have to offload it. No, no, no. I understood. I'm thinking about moving it now back to. Um, oh yeah, we can do it. The, the correct location, and I'm thinking what we need to do. Oh, you want to jump the whole thing? Okay. Yeah. I'm there. See what I think. Well, you went for a Mr. No, 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 don't jump over here, too. You need to jump with all of our ships. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I love it. The Phantom did come with a jump drive, but I just want to go as one big bunch. Because why not? Because we can. Uh, Boris may be off or out of pass. That might be a problem. That's all right. I've got enough parts in the container here. Nice, you want to hook her on? I even think it could look quite cool as an attachment on the bottom, to be fair. <laughs> but I even think it kind of works. Let me set the I can line gear. you up. You know, I just need to set the auto lock on and off, off so no it doesn't jerk. You probably want to go a bit further back as well. Yep. Auto lock is disabled. Okay. I lined up center line pretty close. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good on okay. both angles. Pretty Just go good. up and let it auto lock. And locked. Yep. Looks good enough. Slightly off axis, but it's not going to be a big deal. And we need to go to jump orbit moon. Fully charged in one second, it says. Cool. I am the one in oh. control. Oh, okay. Look how quick it is, still. You're going to burn my, my solar cells off. Sorry. I'll stop. Yep. Yep. Are they gone? Are you, are you, uh, are you seated? I am seated. Well then, hold on to your, oh. your hat. <laughs> if you're going to hold on to your hats, this is a hold on to your hats moment. We've got three ships connected together, kind of ropely, returning back And to... a cargo container, which is connected by a connector. <laughs> uh, but we are sort of vaguely hope. Tech. And I'm DC'd. We're one K away. Well... You know, it's it, that's about as precise as it gets. Come on, man. Can you not just... <sighs> I had faith in you. Well, if you guys had actually put the <laughs> satellite <laughs> actually at the spot that we GPSed in the first place, uh, I'm passing by some debris. I don't know what it is. Passing by... No, no, that, that, no that's the station. It's the station. No, no, no. They're to the left side. Oh, there is some debris to the left side. You're right. I'm trying to fly in formation with the because this is kind of cool, like capturing ships. And I also don't know what this jump driving around and so on. You know, space engineers with these kind of sometimes almost making it work, and then sometimes it all goes to shit. And it's 
Okay. Um, yeah. What time are we at? I think it's probably it's, time, it's is it not? pretty much that time. It's three hours, 55 minutes, and 48 seconds. Okay. Well, I'm going I think to, uh, timing could not be more right for a, well... It's a shame we didn't have Wedgie join us, but I'm very glad that Tex could it make really... it this week because yeah, no, it's a we've shame. done all right tonight. We, we've captured a few ships. We've torn them apart. We've done okay. Boris is really, really, really messing with how this ship performs, so I'm going to be kind of careful. But we made some good progress tonight, to be fair. We, we captured a bunch of ships, we, we even to the point where we've got ourselves a, a free large ship out of it that's fully capable and at the moment carrying Boris around like a boss. So that's pretty cool. We blew okay. up some drones. Tex almost completed our pocket battleship. It's, it's really close. Let's go down to the planet and have a quick look. Just because, uh, uh, not the planet, the moon, even. Because we were getting really damn close to getting this thing finished. It's just missing a th a th the, th the thruster components, basically, to build the big thrusters that are on the back. But it's going to be so fast once it's done. A nicely, nicely armed big turret's on the front. She's going to be good. She's just not quite. Just a little is bit. We've even got the interior now. Decks have been greebling. Gribbling. For like gribble, a long gribble. time. Gribbling for texeling my Texeling my little heart out. Gribble, gribble. Got some good lines, though. I'm, yeah, I'm no, pretty it pleased is. with this. I like it. And it's very much got that Yamato sort of... I don't know. It's, it's the bridge at the back, I think, that, that really sells it. But. Mm hmm She looks good. She looks good. As does, to be fair, our, our newly captured freebie really large ship it. that I'm not going to yeah, say no, no I'm to. I'm digging that. What's what's this one called? A Phantom? A Phantom. I I, I, yeah, I, I no, don't I'm, even know I'm who the creator that. is. It came in the in the mod pack we're using. So, unfortunately, I can't credit him, but that that is a pretty ship. It, it almost looks like an Imperian ship, you know what I mean? It looks like one of the Imperian yeah. prefabs. No, oh, it does. But very nice. And we are back with I mean, if nothing else, our, the, 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 what was a pile of junk in space to begin with? Now looks more like some ships in a station. So, thank All you right, very much for joining me, Mr. Text Shall we? Uh... I'm I'm just gonna quickly jump up to the bridge and move the ship a tad away from the station because it's looking a little on the. Uh, I don't know. It's just it it's so close up that I feel a bit uncomfortable. Let's put her in a more sensible location so it looks like we know what we're doing. A little bit, you know. They're not Starfleet, but... Probably still better than the Bajorans. <laughs> now, now this ship... This is a Natasha. Y yeah. Or okay, Natasha. Okay, okay. That, that, there's your Natasha. If you wanted your Natasha, there it is. But thank you very much, guys. Let's 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 peace out on our solar panel here. You'll need to find a cryopod once we're done, of course. But yep, we can peace out on our solar panel. Or, or I can just drop my inventory into one of these cargo things and, and bail out. Looking down over Earth, that's pretty cool. To be fair. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, our new ship in front. Thanks for joining us, guys. It's been a pleasure. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed tonight. Obviously, if you haven't, then dislike button's right next door. Thank you for joining me, Tex. It's a shame Wedge couldn't, but I'm sure we'll be back next week. Don't forget to check out the Twitch streams. They happen every Monday and every Friday, 100% regular. So please come and check me out there and description down below, maybe a link. Down there, you will also find a link to the Armco Discord, which I really recommend you join because it's a lot of fun times. I hang out there a fair bit in my cave, but also there's a whole load of fun events that you can get involved with. So come and get involved. Well, and it's where we have people like Mr. Spacebar and Mr. Krieg who are well on their ways to becoming yeah. uh, SE modders that uh, you want to keep an eye on. Yeah, indeed. Some of our turrets tonight are 
from them. So thanks, folks. Been a pleasure. And we will catch you for the next one.